Hello to the gamers, or as we said in uh, 2004, peace up to the gamers. A town down to the gamers. You know what I'm talking about? Usher's yeah. So true, so true. My Bene Gesserit sister dipped in Mama Shai Halud's blue oil. What a movie, man. What a movie. What a movie. What a night. <clears throat> NL would drink the liquid, no questions asked, after dropping the tickets proverb about how the mind is already expanded, and that's a fact. I probably already got the water of life inside of me, if I had to guess. Lord knows I got the worm. So true. Or as we said in 2016. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Balatro. Those were the days, man. Those were the days. Episode 189. <laughs> Last episode, we tried to do the orange steak on the Nebula deck, and it didn't go well. Man, this game's pretty tough. I want to say thank you guys for your comments. I know I haven't read any of them, but I'm pretending to read them. I apologize that you have been so offended by my lack of intelligence as filtered through my decisions in a video game. Clearly, I am the dumb one for playing a game and having fun, and you are the smart one for noticing all the mistakes and doing something productive with your time. Fucking idiots. Did you see the Ice Climbers tweet about you? Uh, yes, but it's not about me. It simply uses my reaction image of, Okay, okay! We hate this guy. Kill him. Kill him with hammers. What can I say? That, that was the best eight-second performance of my life. I'm happy to have entered the, the culture. Hang on, I got a burp. You know what's crazy? So um, I finally saw Dune 2 this weekend. I enjoyed it immensely while watching it. I couldn't shake the feeling that it was a landmark release within my life. That this is like a $400 million budget movie where um, the most insane shit of all time happens. And I, I couldn't shake the juxtaposition that Denny Villeneuve came out, put his nuts on the table and said, check it out. Dune 2. And then it was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with fucking Ghostbusters 98. We got Bill Murray back for this one. But it's not sad. It's not sad. It's inspirational. It's not sad, okay? It's not sad that they got all the old actors and then the young actors. And then it's like the 18th time they've done like a spiritual passing of the torch from the old Ghostbusters to the new. It's not sad, okay? It's really good. And then Denny Villeneuve is like, ah, Lizan Al Gaib, like, shit is happening in the movie. There's, there's an on screen uh, omniscient fetus. There's fucking people's eyes are turning deep shades of blue. There's 500 kilometer long worms with a million teeth inside of them. People are floating. Versus Ghostbusters 81. Anyway, I enjoyed myself immensely. Can I say, though, I, for the, I didn't realize this when I bought the tickets. The theater we went into, by the way, thank you, Fail Gunner, for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and Golden Weevil, thank you as well. Just so you guys know, I did not make Dune 2. You should be gifting subscriptions to Denny Villeneuve so that he can make Dune Messiah. Regardless. Um, if you'll excuse me. I went to a theater I did not realize it was 19 plus, which is totally fine because I'm plus 19. But uh, I was like, oh my God, this is what everybody's asked for is like a movie theater that has no kids in it because kids are always like disrupting movies. No kids in the movie. That's a plus. The downside is that our theater was 80% middle-aged men who had to clear their throat every 90 seconds, which is also disruptive in its own way. Fifth Avenue Cinema. You got me. You got me. 
Fifth Avenue Cinema, Berard and Fifth Avenue in sunny Kitsilano. Nineteen to thirty-five only theaters, please. That literally gives me like seven months or something. What's wrong with being thirty-six, man? Exactly. Well, hopefully you should grandfather me in, okay? Hi, to hi, Tomo. Hi, buddy. Do they serve beer at this theater? They did, but I just got a large Diet Coke instead. And then um, the biggest popcorn I've ever seen in my entire life. So big that, I mean, I ate it through the nine previews. All of which are for movies that I will not see. That's just facts. Um, and then I ate it for like the first 30 minutes of Dune 2. And then I just said, enough is enough, man. Enough is enough. I just can't, I can't eat any more popcorn than this. I feel like I probably ate like a pound and a half of popcorn. It's just too much. You're not going to go see Kong X, <laughs> two, three, three X Kong, two X Godzilla. Um, no, but I, you know, more power to you. I hear like Godzilla's going through. You okay, buddy? Godzilla's going through like a renaissance right now. I'm just not really privy to it. You see Godzilla minus one? Nope. Um, Dune 2 is the first movie that I've seen in theaters since Matt Reeves' The Batman, which I believe came out eight and a half years ago. It's been a long time. And I like going to the movie theater, I do. It's just we, we had the unique situation. My parents were here. So I said, if we're going to go see Dune, we got to go see it like right now. Otherwise, we may not be able to see it, you know. That's a movie. I hate when people say this, but you should see that in theaters if you get the chance. It's not going to be the same on your phone. I'm not going to say that. I mean, the emotional beats are what they are. But, you know, until you see these sandworm... Well, now that I think about it, if anyone's ever been to the Fifth Avenue Cinema, the screen is probably, like, smaller than the TV in my house. But there's something about seeing it in a room full of like-minded individuals. Also, I knew who was going to see Dune and who was going to see Ghostbusters because everybody in line at the movie theater that looked like me walked into Dune. There were, like... Nine 30 year old dudes with a horseshoe, and I was like, my brothers. <laughs> we're back with some balance, yo. Game's getting pretty tough, man. We're on this, I don't know, we're on blue steak, we're on freaking black steak, we're on freaking orange steak. I don't even want to talk about that one. We're on the zodiac deck. Green steak, maybe it's possible. I don't know. Let's let's have some fun. A rare joker and fifteen dollars after we beat the boss. Why not? Um, wow, full house dipped in Mama Psychic's five card oil. How was the Peloton this morning? It's pretty good. Still, like, um, I, I feel like I'm I'm just getting the last little bit of mucus out of my lungs how dare you but i i think it was a well librarian oh i forgot i always forget keep me honest librarian and thank you crimson stockings for the gifted subscriptions thank you i believe it was a 205 watt average 1106 kilojoules 205 watt average there you go there you go okay this is good stuff so it's pretty good that's pretty that's we're getting close to my um to where i was at before I got lung butter. Times two molt if the hand contains a flush. Very nice. <clears throat> then, convert more cards to flushables. This pays for itself pretty quick. I would like to buy hone as well. I don't know if we'll have the opportunity. I do also, I mean, I'm a simple man. I really am. I re Fortune teller just scales so nicely. 
All right. I have strep throat. Any good tea recommendations? I don't. Um, I don't have any good tea recommendations. I wish I did for you. I'm not a tea guy. You ever hear of Neosporin? Not Neosporin. That's what you put on yourself when you get a cut, now that I think about it. You ever hear of Neocitrin? That's what I meant. Neocitrin. Moon me? Or as they call it in the United Kingdom, because of course they do, Lemsip. Holy cow, look at this. Why, why would you discard your twos and get $6 for free when instead you could just ignore that? Um, <clears throat> I'm feeling good. Give me, give me Hone, perhaps my favorite uh, non-economic voucher. And then Clubs Me. How about Masala Chai? Did you know that um, Masala means chai? So when you ask for Masala Chai, you're asking, actually asking for um, Chai Chai. <laughs> Bet you feel silly, man. Me after I order non bread and the waiter at the Indian restaurant goes into the back and then I hear everyone start laughing. Oh, brother, come on. I'm saving. I'm saving up. For every discarded three. For every discarded three. Okay. <clears throat> I have a great counter to that, though. You know, you always be like, you know, hey, I was at the ATM machine the other day, and someone will be like, you know, the M stands for machine, right? So you're saying, like, automatic teller machine machine. You just look them dead in the eyes, and you say, you know you're going to die someday. Me too. I'm not saying it's just going to be you, but like, is this really how you want it? Wait, when you keep that memento mori in your head, I think it informs your decisions a little bit. You're like, are you really sure that you want to spend like your limited amount of time on Earth doing it? Me personally, I just, I, I don't think I would recommend it, but everybody's got different priorities in life. Don't get me wrong. Play only one hand type this round. It's it's that simple. We draw two clubs here or we lose. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> you just got ballot drone, buddy. Okay, so um, the only hand we can play is high card. So that's exciting. Um, yep. All right, that's a hold R type situation. Rare Joker, 15 bucks when we beat the boss. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It happens. 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen. That's a pretty good start. <clears throat> Should really just be fishing for flushes. If you fish for flushes early on, you will not lose. The trick is to not be seduced by flushes long term. I immediately went back for the full house, but we got a flush anyway. If we dismantled the monarchy, what would we call the royal flush? The democratically elected flush? Um, I don't know what to tell you, Yell Nats. I don't know what to tell you about that one. <clears throat> I, uh, I'd have to think about it. I think we would still probably call it a royal flush. Because otherwise, like, we'd have to change the deck, right? Like, the king would become, like, the president, and the queen would be the vice president, and the jack would be, like, the secretary of state or something like that. You'd be like, read him and weep. I got four secretaries of state. I've got three secretaries of the interior and two ministers of the Department of Energy. It's just too much, man. It's just too much for me. So I'm a, I'm a simple man at the end of the day. Money's on sale today. I like baseball card, but we need something to work with. 12 mult on three of a kind, pretty good. Extra chips early on, pretty good. Plus one consumable slot, don't shoot the messenger, not necessary. Not bad, but not necessary. And then immediately three of a kind. We could fish for a full house, but money's on sale always gets me. I appreciate that. I love money on sale. <clears throat> I 
Hmm, you are an uncommon joker. Hmm, but a knave, Bloodstone. Um... Hey, NL, your music recommendations are usually on point. See Spiderland, Kaput, ETC, but Boys and Girls of America's Liquid Ass. I'm a Minnesotan and I'm saying that. Uh, I'm sorry that you haven't had the experiences in your life that would make something like Chill Out Tent relatable uh, or Stuck Between Stations in particular. That's more, I, I feel pity for you more than feeling offended by your criticism. I mean, I didn't make the music in the first place, so... Just because you can't appreciate the millennial Bruce Springsteen that is Craig Finn, like, that's honestly not my fault. Now, I appreciate the respect on Spiderland and Kaput. Both of those albums are a vibe, but um, maybe know your place. It's Josh Core music. It's for dudes day drinking. What if I told you that inside of you, there is an NL, there is a Dan Behar, there is a Josh, there's a fucking Nick NFT, there is a Socrates, there is a Neil Armstrong. All of those facets exist within you at all times. And you can switch between the modes as necessary using the app known as Amazon Music. All of them exist within you, waiting to be separated by a prism, which is your behavior. <clears throat> you are Josh, and Josh is you. Hi, Tomo. Jupiter me. Plus, why are we insulting day drinking? You're like, mm, unlike you, I drink at night. We're fucking, it's poison, bro. But at the same time, it's also kind of the water of life, you know? It's interesting to think about. It's interesting to think about. Let me, let me, let me, the full house is something we play on occasion. And a, a wild card, sure. And then we go next. Play only one hand. The dream scenario is a heart flush, which we already have. Hi, Tomo! Hi, Tomo! Hello, everybody! Hello, Tomo! This makes it without it. Or do we need do we need the 12 molt from this Andrew? And maybe we need the 12 molt from the Andrew. In which case we play this and we screwed up our uh, our hero font, but we take those. We probably I don't know if we needed it, but <clears throat> I'm fucking rich, bro. Planet cards appear 4x frequently. I want to buy it because it's got electricity crackling off of the card, but I think I'd rather have tarot cards appear in the shop. Now listen, my friend, you are at least on common. So I will purchase you. And I will be fishing for Jupiters. Next me. Next me. Popeye X Saline ass deck, bro. You got something to say to me? Then just say it. Don't filter it through 25 different layers of 2x bully memes, okay? Oh, we're straight chilling. You see the video of UFC fighter getting bit mid-match? I did not see that. Who was he fighting? My daughter? <laughs> she do be, she do be biting a little bit, people. And then we go, hey! Stop, dad. And then she gets freaked out because she, like, isn't fully in control of her own actions. All she knows is that she's upset because mommy and daddy use the Bene Gesserit voice. So she just kind of, you know, can I tell you, so we took our daughter out, because um, it was my parents' last day in Vancouver yesterday. We took them out to a restaurant that was amenable for everybody. It's a soup and sandwich place, okay? My daughter, my, one of my daughter's favorite foods is grilled cheese sandwich. We took her out for a grilled cheese sandwich. We ordered a grilled cheese sandwich. It came out and we were like, wow, that looks beautiful. And she was freaking out, man. She was like, this restaurant smells yucky and the food looks yucky, but they did a beautiful job. And I was like, what the, what the heck are you talking about? So Kate was trying to feed her the grilled cheese, but because the grilled cheese was kind of like an artisan grilled cheese, it was on like a brioche or something like that, she was, uh, she was not having a great time because it didn't look like it was made with like Dempster's white bread. So she was like, cut it smaller, cut it smaller. And I cut it into like a little, like a single quanta of grilled cheese sandwich, right? Kate tried to feed it to her. And then she went like, Hum! And she bit Kate's finger a little bit. 
And then Kate was like, I'm mad at you because you bit my finger. And then she went, I'm so upset and it's daddy's fault. And I said, what did I do? And she said, you cut the piece of sandwich too big. And I'm like, I'm, the only, I'm completely innocent in this. The only thing I did at the restaurant is pay for the meal. Anyway, we're straight chilling. I also, come on. I slept on her, uh, on her floor on, I don't know if it was Thursday or Friday night, but I slept on her floor because she was like, I don't want to go to sleep without daddy. So we took like all the couch cushions and set up a bed on the floor. I can't do that. Two melatonin gummies got me from 10 a.m. till 5, 15 a.m., which I'm grateful for, but my back was not feeling great the next day. <laughs> it's like, I think my spine fell between like the two couch cushions. Anyway, come eat at my grilled cheese restaurant in Boston. I mean, I'm probably not gonna do it, but if there was ever a time, it might be uh, now because they've finally admitted that uh, there's no reason you should be doing PAX East in Boston in the winter time. And instead they're doing PAX East. Well, I'm playing some Dookie here uh, in Boston in May. Odds of me going to PAX East ever again in my life has increased from 0% to 15%. Holy cow! 80,000 points. This is actually kind of a sick negative joker. It means we can go even further beyond when necessary. Balatro 2 going to be at PAX. Local, you will never see Local Thunk again. Next time I see Local Thunk is going to be, he's going to be living in one of those mansions in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Dressed up as a pirate. Seven dollars, I sleep. I hope all his candy isn't expired. <laughs> I understand that reference. I understand that reference. Can I? How, how hard is it to get a flush of hearts, bro? It's the easiest hand in the game. They're stoning my blood. Straight up, bro. I'm like two pair. None bloodstone. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. I guess I'll go fuck myself. I guess I should have played my three of a kind there. Yeah, 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 I did it to myself at the end of the day. I did it to myself. 07 ad eaters. 92 points on that one. Okay, we go again. That was a really good run. I should have played my three sevens. Should have done a lot of things. What do you got for me? Diamonds are debuffed. Diamonds are debuffed. We don't sweat that. Early on, I'm telling you, I, I see we got three of a kind here. I'm a simple man. Boss one, you literally just fish for flushes. It's that simple. You also literally do not play a debuffed flush because you need some chips, otherwise your ass ain't gonna make it. Go do real poker now that you know the strats. Seems like a great idea, I'd love to lose all of my money to fucking MIT PhDs that have been seven tabling online poker since they were 11 years old. That sounds like a great time. Um, well, there's, there's something to like here, but at the same time, uh, it's, it's simply not in our price range. It's not in our price range. Create a copy of a random joker. We won't be doing that either. I guess I will create two default aces <laughs> and... Hmm. Hmm. I kind of hate uh, where we're at right here, but you know what? It's pretty early. It's still pretty early. Uh, jack, 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 Ace, Ace. Okay. <clears throat> What's the worst deck in your opinion? I'm going to have to go uh, mono green. I really don't give a shit. You're playing like a big bear or something like that, or like a fucking wolf. 
or an elf that allows you to search your deck and put like a land of your choice in your hand. Just as it, it doesn't appeal to me. Hydras go crazy. Yeah, if you live long enough against my Abbot of Carol Keep to actually play it in the first place, spoilers, you won't. Because I'm going to mono red lightning bolt your ass down to zero life on turn four. Skip spectral, spectral pack. No disrespect, we didn't have the money for it. We simply did not. We had $2 and the spectral pack is $4. Now, I mean, we, we're not going to be able to afford the voucher, which is unfortunate. <sighs> you know, I, I do like flash card. With the right vouchers, there's something we could do with this, but uh, we don't have those vouchers yet. <clears throat> Not every run is destined to succeed, you know? Sometimes you just gotta play it out. That's bad. Okay, this is worse. Any chance this is a 10? I guess there's a, there's a chance it's a 10. <laughs> it's, and then this is a curse discard, bro. All right. Um... I'm literally playing straight mud in the hopes that we draw more tens and fours. Full house of tens and fours incoming. All right, we're fucked. Unless, now if I were a 10 or a four, I would probably be here and here. Imagine two pair of tens and fours. Oh, oh, we, we did get a four. <laughs> I mean, it's not great, but it's something. Hmm. Early flushes. Paul McCartney at an Airbnb, and he's not sure if the toilet's going to handle his massive shit. Early flushes fill your eyes. Ah. <sighs> Can't really lay in the plane on that one. Something fear creates when waters rise. Sleep pretty, darling. Do not cry. I don't know. Workshop that one. Kids these days don't respect Paul McCartney anyway. So what's the point, man? What's the fucking point? <clears throat> we got people out here saying the Beatles are overrated. The only opinion you ever hear about the Beatles is that they're overrated. It doesn't make any fucking sense, man. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Okay, um, discard Dookie. Play two pair, dumping a seven. It gives you 16 extra mults. That's a huge hand. OMG, are you Paul McCartney? I'll give you flushes for free. Now we're talking. Paul McCartney ordering uh, an original chicken duo sandwich from KFC. All right, I'm, I'm a thin deck, Andrew. Get rid of this. You see the Paul McCartney clip where he's in the car and he makes that sound? And he goes like... Bleh! Yes? Okay, so it's not just me. <laughs> I tried to explain 2x Pimpy to my girlfriend last night and she got mad at me. I can understand that. Like, you're, you're, we have no choice but to be burdened with the knowledge at this point. But, like, she didn't ask for that, bro. And she can't, like, you know, just forget about it. It's 2x Pimpy, bro. It's Popeye x Saline. It's the kind of shit that just doesn't go away when you shut your eyes, you know? It's Principe Vajita. <laughs> wow! Um, okay, Polychrome Banana actually fucking sucks now that I think about it, but the shop's still kind of sick. Great voucher, making everything cheaper. Fucking Rainbow Banana. If you were watching Oprah in the 90s, they'd have you think that everybody was having a rainbow banana. I'm not sure that there was even one recorded fucking case, to be honest with you, of rainbow banana. But either way, we'll take a steel jack. Uh, we'll add another jack into the ecosystem. And then we got fucking 
queens of the stone age here. No, we don't. That's plus one hand size. That's not, uh, that's not queens of the stone age at all. Plus one free reroll. Okay, what do we like to play? I honestly think we probably do better playing this than playing the full house because it lets us get a much bigger molt off of raised fist, which has got to be, I mean, if we're talking most underrated jokers in the game, raised fist is kind of fucking sick, bro. Temperance, eight dollars, five jokers, total sell value, eight dollars. It's a slap in the face. To pair me. Hey, out, Big Kings of Leon fan. How the frick can sex be on fire? I don't know what they were doing, man. To be honest with you, I don't know what they were talking about. I don't know what they were... They, I, I don't like uh, users. And their biggest song was about using somebody. So I just think... For me personally, it's a band that I don't mess with. Also, they reek of Las Vegas. I don't know if they're actually from Las Vegas. They might be from Ohio. But they just have that, like, silk shirt kind of, like, aura permeating off of them. Can somebody confirm where the Kings of Leon are from? They're from Oklahoma? Hmm. They're from Tennessee. I could see that. They're not from Leon, okay? That's, like, that's some Spanish stuff. I don't know about all of that. It's outside of my wheelhouse. I would like to get this. Wait, do I have any good cards in my deck? I have one good ace. Okay, sorry, High Priestess. Well, you know, I'll use you once, and then I'll sell you for a dollar, and I'll pay... Oh, but then I used High Priestess, so I don't get an Emperor. But that's okay, you can buy and hold. You can buy and hold. Can I have my good ace, please? That Veronica Corningstone's one fine piece of ace. I think I've just conflated two different movies in my head. Um, I have no choice. I will create many steel cards. Thanks for being here. I'm swagged out. You're welcome. It's my job. Literally. Veronica Vaughn, you're right. I got I got Anchorman confused. What the hell is even this? Play play three jacks and dump this dookie matter. The youth of today are too swagged out. Speak on that. What do you what do you mean by that? The youth of today are too swagged out. I'm not saying I disagree. Hey Valentine, thank you for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Thank you. My banana. They're on drugs? That's true, but the youth of my era was on drugs, too. We buy. We buy and use. It's okay. Hmm. Hum, hermit me, please. I think the youth just enjoy drugs. I'm refusing to comment on it, but, like, they are the demographic that tends to have the most free time, so it kind of makes sense when you think about it. Need some, need some chips. Need some, need some, I, 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 I would like it. I guess I could use, get a bunch of money, and then buy. I don't know if this run's going where I need it to go, though. I do know we can dump some straight dookie. What the fuck? We don't have jobs? And I love that for you! I do! I think you play three of a kind and you get the 16 molt off of the that eight of diamonds instead. Wow, we're in a tighter spot than I would have thought. What if you just say fuck it, bro, and play like high card? Because you get 20 molt off of the... <laughs> it, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just got there. You have discards, brother? 
Yeah, but I'm kind of like a hand nihilist right now. Maybe you could improve some hands. The real question is if the next generation is gonna swag more or swag less. I gotta think about that. I honestly have no idea. I know more about the next generation than you probably because I have a three-year-old and I have no idea. I mean, she's swagged up right now, but that's because her mom's swagged up. So I really couldn't tell you. Hang on, hang on. Move your hands, your cards in hand trigger left to right. So you can move your lowest rank card to the left to trigger raised fist before triggering steel. You're a damn genius. False, it doesn't work. It feels like it would work, right? That's not how raised fist works. That's not how the force works. You sound like Han Solo right now. Oh, man. How's our flush? Pretty bad, huh? How's our fucking anything? Two pairs, pretty good. Two pairs, pretty solid. Two pairs, pretty good. Okay, now you get to, we get to put the theory to the test. So if I move the five here, you're basically saying I'm going to swag out. Let's, let's get some discards pumping first though, because two pair would, would really hit the spot. <clears throat> Werewolves of London, you say. Okay. So we go dunka, 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 and then play this. I guess maybe this situation, it doesn't matter because the Jack is going to be our lowest card anyway. Lycanthropes of London. So true. Lycanthropes of London. This should be a big hand. Saturday night and we in the spot. Don't believe me, just watch. Turns out the spot was the MGM Grand. Am I right? Hey, what do you think is going on with the Shohei Otani stuff? Plus two? I'm serious, man. He did that shit? I don't know about that. He gets on base? He actually doesn't get on base. He hits home runs and strikes people out, right? I'm genuinely not a conspiracy theorist, but the Shohei Otani stuff's got me laughing. Because people, now that, like, it's stuff, stuff starting to come out, they're like, and that motherfucker speaks fluent English. Why the fuck did he have an interpreter the whole time? <laughs> people are like, I went, to, I went to university with that dude. He was talking in English all the damn time. He goes to the MLB, all of a sudden he's got a full-time translator? It doesn't make any damn sense. But I kind of love it for him. I do. Yes! <laughs> if this shit breaks ever, ever, I'm uninstalling the game. Just so you know. Dump it. Hmm, delectable. Can you give me my cool ace, please? You know what? I think I would settle. I think I would settle for another steel jack. You never know if that steel helper joker is going to show up at some point. Freaking chilling, bro. Campfire. It's the best joker in the game. We will we will beat this round. Your active urge to not do the Mama Liz joke is cracking me up. Last two weeks I could not do the Mama Liz joke. I would have a coughing fit afterwards every single time. Now that I got the lung butter out of my system, I, I'm just exercising self-control. Huge. 
It's a, this is a huge Andrew right here. What do you got for me, kid? Doubles your money? No, no, I could do. I'll do it myself. I'm steeled up to the fucking gills, bro. Donald Duck be like fucking. <laughs> so true. <laughs> How about this shit? Look at my shit. Ooh, 85,000 points. A pittance. Can you hit the Mama Liz high note? Mmm, faceless choker dipped in Mama Liz's face card oil. I'm, I'm almost back. I might not be 100% back, but I'm pretty close. I love a death card. Thank you so much. Your oil is about three seconds too short. Well, to be honest with you, I think I've only seen the video like two times. It's really like it's it's become its own sort of beast. Independent of its original context. I typed that I'm unemployed and they hit me with a Marines ad. Fucking spyware is getting too good, man. That's <laughs> that's nasty. That's nasty work. We send these. Hmm. An emperor card. Don't mind if I do. A Jumbo Celestial Pack filtering Venus. Does Canada have army ads? Um, not really. You, you'd see like a Canadian Armed Forces ad on occasion. All the time. Really? I, maybe I'm out of touch, man. I feel like the only ads that I would ever see on Can maybe it's because I watch the prices right. The only ads I would see on Canadian TV were for like Alcoholics Anonymous and then like the Kia Sportage. How about some of this? Uh, well, you know, it's still it's still pretty solid. I can't be upset. Maybe it's because you're out of conscription range. Well, I don't think the TV really knows about that. But they, I mean, if you're out of conscription range, if they're conscripting your ass, they don't really need to buy advertisements, right? Don't they just come to your house? You know what? Let's, let's chariot this 10 and then we can strength it later. I will say I, I was on the um, cutting edge because I watched so much Price is Right as a kid. I was on the cutting edge of uh, head on applied directly to forehead. They had been advertising that shit uh, before the Price is Right since I was like, I don't know, two years old. And the ad used to be like real, if you'll as real as it could possibly be. Um, it would be like, if you have a headache, apply this to your head and it'll get better. And then at some point they just started blaring like the klaxon at the start of the ad. And it was like, uh, head on, apply directly to forehead. Head on, apply directly to forehead. They knew what they were doing though. They didn't know, people. They didn't know. Sock and buskin. I don't know. I'm not... I'm not... I don't get that much value out of playing face cards, though, you know? But I... One thing's for sure. Like, ice cream can go. Actually, like, our first three jokers can all go. But it's gotta be 
for the right cause. Uh, okay, that wasn't what I expected. I guess I would play this right here, but before we do that... Something like that. Ooh, ooh, Space Joker actually worked for once, dipped in Mama Liz's randomness oil. Hmm, 20 molt if your hand contains three or fewer cards. Kaiser Irrelevante, but whatever. We got money. I would like to keep making my deck thin. Hmm, what about some... Did I buy a hone on this run, or was that 12 runs ago? Run info, vouchers. That was 12 runs ago. I'm fucking vouchered up, bro. My wallet is bursting at the seams. X2 molt. We snooze on that. I mean, like, you're so fucking ass. I think I need you for now. This run's unlosable, right? Give it to me straight. Yes! Name a better duo than NL and Miss Prince. Okay, um, Queen and David Bowie. Next question, please. That was an easy one. Sun and Moon. All we need is the fucking kill, bro. Hey, Anel, do you think your ass would get swept up by Paul Atreides if you were a Fremen in the Dune universe? Yeah, I mean, what, what the fuck else are you gonna do, bro? Keep spitting in the coffee? Like, at some point, you gotta, you gotta throw your lot in with the rest of your fellow man. Now, I understand the idea that Paul Atreides is not necessarily a hero. I'm just saying, like, if, if my ass is just chilling in the desert, I'm probably getting swept up. I don't think, uh, I mean, if Stilgar is getting swept up, my ass is getting swept up. My mental's probably worse than his. I'm straight chillin', dude. I'm straight chillin'. You can't, you can't stop me. When I'm on my swag, you can't stop me. 436,000 points. You think you could ride the worm? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think I'm that guy. I'm probably the dude that... Uh, Almost gets Dave Batista and then falls 13,000 feet to his death. I don't think I'm, I'm riding the worm. I'm probably one of the dudes in the tent on the worm. That's like, oh, fuck. 17-day flight today. Oh, make sure I got my wireless headphones. Oh, oh make sure I got my sunflower seeds. It's going to be a long trip. I'm saying I don't think my ass would make it on Arrakis. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got me. That that shit is... I, don't, I mean, that seems like an inhospitable place. Now, on Getty Prime... On Getty Prime, I think I could make some moves, people. I already got the hairstyle. And the skin tone. I would definitely be one of those motherfuckers in the stands going, Yeah! <laughs> Two hundred and twenty-four grand, ain't nothing but a peanut, bro. Kissing my uncle on the mouth. Hey, don't blow up my spot like that, okay? What a 
I'm trying to say, yeah, I think I'd be an easy target for the Bene Gesserit to manipulate. Absolutely. I think I got levers to pull. You smoking that spice, though? I mean, I'll be honest with you. I think if you're on Arrakis, you don't even have a choice, right? You smoking that shit just when you walk outside. Anyway, what was I talking about? <laughs> All cards debuffed until a joker sold. That's great, because I have a, a negative joker that doesn't do shit for me. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay. I mean, we gotta fucking do something, though. You might as well make this Andrew lucky, and then just fucking, I don't know, get this shit out of your hands. Mama Liz's unlosable run oil. Very true. I mean, any almost any run with campfire is um, is unlosable. And then like Cavendish just takes it to the next level. But I think we got very little Mama Liz's endless oil potential in this one. <laughs> buy me, sell me. Mm, buy me. Any advice on getting your head shaved? No, nope, I'm I'm going the opposite direction right now. I have none advice for it. I don't know. I don't have a good answer for you. I'm just being straight up. 264,000. There's not much for advice. You just shave it. I mean, I guess that's true. <laughs> if you want to get... If you want to get technical, yeah, you pretty much just get like an electric razor or something. Wheel me? We are... We're very close to wheel... Without a doubt. Two of them. I'll add a purple seal to a, a useless Andrew, of course. Um, yeah, yeah, wheel me, you're right. That's a nope. You got, but you got to knock out a few nopes before you get a, a fucking yes, bro. The, also, everybody knows Wheel of Fortune filtered through the fool has a 2x success rate. That doesn't mean you're guaranteed. It's just, it's just 2x. It's just science. Oh, you're right. I should have taken mime for sure. But I was, I was in reroll mode. Okay, get out of my face, you big disgrace. Honestly, I think I think we're there already. Beautiful. Okay. How about um you know what would really hit the spot is removing our first three jokers and replacing them with better jokers. Hey, Anel, would you use the Bene Gesserit voice to get free pizza delivery? No, I would pay for my pizza delivery because those people are working hard and they're the backbone of the community. But I would use it to get free money that I would then use to pay for the pizza delivery. For sure. No doubt about that. But I'm not going to screw over the pizza delivery service, you know, just to get... I, I, uh, fundamentally, the shit should be free for me to begin with because I have mind control powers, you know? Discard me with a smile. I'll just play this, that seems fine. Good movie, though. Good movie. It's a tough one. Polychrome 5. Stop. I recognize your voice. Are you running a 2x special on Major League Pities? Yeah, I'm running a stud special. I'm running a time-limited stud special. 
I will give you my dog for free. I, I hate to say it. Well, how many kings we got in this deck? Four kings? 16 jacks? <laughs> I think it's a skip. I, I, don't, I don't love spending the money and getting nothing out of it, but it's the way of the world, man. Give me a Mercury, I guess. X4 Mult, if you got four of a kind. There's there's temptation, but we ain't quite there yet. We ain't quite there yet. But we are we are here. We are here. There's no doubt about that. This is a gimme. It was filtered through an Emperor card. It never misses. Okay, Uranus will definitely buy and use. How you how you doing? X2. I don't know why I hissed at it. Why not, brother? At this point. You saw in big doo-doo. That's damn true. <laughs> Never really thought about it that way. I think... We're in a bad spot. I mean, relatively, we're in a great spot because we've already like beaten the game. What's the, what's the boss blind here? Only one hand type this round. That should be fine. And ideally, we would love to have just played like two pairs over and over. Raise fist carrying. I mean, like we we have a. If we're being honest with one another, we have a real problem here. The real problem is that we only have two, like, endless caliber jokers. And then we got three lads that are just coming along for the ride, no disrespect. Especially Space Joker, which has given us, like, one extra fucking level or two extra levels or something like that. Blueprint is no joke. I guess we go like, like, sell me, fucking buy me. You're obviously gonna copy campfire. You're gonna buy me, sell me. We could play, well, what do you give? 150 chips on four of a kind? Honestly, it's an insult. 150 chips, I wipe my ass with 150 chips at this point. I'd rather have a buffalo take a diarrhea dump in my ear. And you're at 2.5x. Okay. 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 Next round me. 37 bucks. No, I'll make my own. Double it and give it to the next guy, please. Double it and give it to the next guy, as we say. Huge. Strength me. Strength me. How many kings we have? Four king. Four kings? Four kings in this deck? That's big right there. do it can blueprint destroy itself if it copies Cavendish I bet it can <clears throat> just you know I mean it's a one in a thousand chance so I think if it happens to you you just have to accept that like basically God decided you're not gonna get any further on this run apparently it can't disregard what I was saying apparently it can't okay we played 24 to pair that means your ass is cooked Huge. It's like plus one extra mult. <laughs> yeah, for now. But it. Wow! <laughs> Finally. Okay. Finally, it happened to me right in front of my me. And I just can't get Now we are talking. Now we are motherfucking talking, bro. Get these eights out of my face. Get these nines out of my face. So I'll, I'll get a king out of my face. And then we get a, a, one extra card. Temperance, $11 in my pocket. I'm going to pop some tags, bro. 12 million points. Now we're talking. Now, pretty soon, we got to get to like a billion. 
So that's, I mean, this helps, don't get me wrong, but that's not easy. It's not easy being cheesy. What is that? Is that a Cheetos thing? This shit kind of pisses me off. Because what, what does he mean when he says it's not easy being cheesy? Like, doesn't he not know what else to be? It kind of seems like easy as fuck to be cheesy if you're if you're born as a as Chester Cheetah was born. Like when Kermit said, it's not easy being green. I believe that. He's a frog. Bro is straight amphibious. I don't know what that's like. Chester the Cheetah, like he's swagged up to the gills, man. And he wants to act like a victim? Like, it make it make sense. Tarot Joker sucks in this build. So true. I mean, it's only giving us a measly 57 mult multiplied by 3, multiplied by 4.5, and then probably multiplied by like 7 two times after that. Send it. Wait, we're so due. We're actually due, though. Like, that's that's five misses. We're due. I mean, that's, that's a buy and use in this house. That's a buy and sell. That's a buy. I mean, it's just I, I wish you fit, but you just don't fit. You just weren't made for these times, brother. I can't believe we have non-steel jacks still remaining. I mean, you might as well. I don't know. I don't know what to do, honestly. Maybe, maybe it's time to start talking about the potential power of leveling up four of a kind instead. It's a little late to make the pivot, but yeah, don't do that. Don't don't do what I just suggested we did. <laughs> yeah. That being said, I gotta do it. I gotta do it, unless you just. Let me take a look. That was 600,000. That was, it was pure ass. But this one has 10 molt built in. <laughs> it's the only way. It's the only way. If we don't fight to the death, they will kill us both. No! Oh! <laughs> oh, it's still good though, it's still good. Slash marker me, we'll call that Balatro 1. We made our deck too good that we couldn't draw two pairs anymore. We had too many jacks. Okay, I fucking hate this deck, man. I'm so happy we made some progress. How about plus two hand size, minus one joker slot? Yeah, yeah. Hearts, hearts are better than diamonds. It's so hard to go, like, out of your endless mindset and then go back into this, like, scarcity mindset, bro. Like, I'm, I'm really out here playing default flushes. I used to score seven million points a hand. a sad story that must have been what it was like in the fucking dark ages man they were like 300 years ago our ancestors built like aqueducts and shit i asked my grandfather hey why don't we just build more aqueducts he said we can't we don't know how 97 year old town magistrate still builds 
irrigation solutions the old-fashioned way? Open up the casino. Um, you uh, you won't see heaven, just so you know. Ten, ten molt that could become anything. Holy. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah, wait, when I sell it, it's, we're going to lose 10 mold off of it. I don't know what to do with it, man. Pure ass. Pure ass. Hmm. Delectable. Hello, Quinn, by the way. How's Dota? Is there like a, a Dota... Like, this is the off-season, right? When do they come out with the compendium? I imagine that's when, when stuff really starts kicking off. Ramen. Don't mind if I do. We're Dota fans. Of course we won't see heaven. Did you see the post that was like, this is actually the best way to get to challenger level in League of Legends? And it was like a... a online gaming dark pattern exploitation post that was like if you want to climb in rank what you should do is just antagonize somebody on the enemy team gank them and only them and then type like concern troll in all chat and be like hey guys uh is your like heimeldinger okay is he inting and then like uh, slowly you will turn their team against them and like someone's mental will collapse and they'll just start intentionally dying that's crazy, man. <laughs> I used to do that unironically. That's fucking sick work, man. That's disgusting. You're actually like ruining people's lives out here. <laughs> Legit strat. <laughs> Fucking gross, dude. Are we really going... I guess we're going full flush Andy here. Mental warfare dipped in Mama Liz's is so true oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a skip. This is a play, though. Hmm. And we... We, we gotta keep ramen juiced, brother. We gotta keep it juiced, even if it means sack towning a hand from time to time. I just type question marks whenever someone does anything in Overwatch and it does the same thing. I hear you, because as a streamer, nothing is like more annoying than saying something and just getting hit with like a wall of question marks. Even if you know that you didn't like do shit, you're like, holy fuck, am I cooked? See, even now, even now that I knew what was going to happen, it still messes with your head, man. Jupiter me. Joker's pure ass oil. This is a flush, though. You cooked yourself the old-fashioned way. Um, you could be a diamond flush. I'm willing to take a chance on that. Did you change the lighting in your room? It looks weird. All right, everybody call off the dogs. I'm your friend. <laughs> Just chill out with the, with the gas lighting shit and the gang stalking and stuff like that. relax okay how about mama liz's extra joker space oil hmm, okay in a way this like invisible joker it's a damn curse man it's a manacle because i can't get rid of it
It's my best Joker. Oh, fuck you, dude. Okay, fine, I'll discard. I'll discard it. I'll ruin ramen forever. I'll do it again. See if I care. Thanks for nothing. It gives more molt than your default Joker. I know, that's why I can't sell it, man. It keeps telling me active, active, active. No shot. Just get rid of it? No, because it's going to be worse. That's like how you lose. Give me that Jumbo Arcana pack, man. Give me the Jumbo Arcana pack. I did have some ramen this weekend. I don't want to get into the Vancouver ramen wars. It's a, it's a topic of uh, serious... People get their feelings hurt, you know? But I am... I've, I've eaten them all, more or less. And I gotta tell you that after eating them all, I am still a ramen donbo head. It's just my... I'm not saying it's the best, I'm saying it's my favorite. I hate to do it. But I also want to live. They just opened one in Carysdale. Oh, I'm aware. Because <laughs> I, I love going to Dombo, but I hate waiting in line. So I say, you know what? If we're going to go to Dombo this weekend, why don't we go to the new one in Carysdale? Because no one lives there anyway. And wouldn't you know it, Wall Street in at 6 p.m., no lineup. <laughs> try that shit on Robson Street, bro. Best of luck. You try that shit at West 4th and Kitsilano on a Saturday. I wish you the best. Okay, here's what you do. Sell me. Sell me. Sell me. I mean, this is a crazy play. Buy me. Sell me. Now we immediately need to get some flat molts. There is no joker here. This would go crazy. Oh, we're so fucking due, though. Keep cutting diamonds. Good joker, please, please. Plus one hand size. Hike, I, I have to take hiker. I can't take plus one hand size. Okay, we might be dead, but we're gonna try, okay? At least we can actually fucking discard some shit now. Hold, hold, hold. That's ass. This, this is the key. The molt card, the double molt card is the key. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Give me a heart. Okay, it's so, it's never been so back. It's never been so over. We're cooked. That one's tough. We we were we were close to popping off. We just got a, a a strange confluence of elements there. Invis hollow invisible Joker that was unsellable yet unkeepable, and then no flat molts Joker. If we get a flat molt Joker, that one's going to the fucking moon, bro. Are we trying the new slice and dice update? Slice and Dice? I didn't even realize Slice and Dice got shooters, bro. Don't forget, you're here forever. It's me. It's a good game. I just... I, it's... Uh, I, I've, I've had my time with it. Campfire is insane. The thing is, we just have to live long enough to actually get it to pop. Which is scary. <laughs> We should be able to live through this hand. And we got three tens, two eights. I'm flush posting, I don't care.
100 points. Okay, the bad thing is we're going to have zero dollars after this now that I think about it. <laughs> now we got to get the one dollar decreased level of played poker hand. <sighs> okay, I think that we have to play bigger hands. Even a full house. I mean, I think we. if I'm being honest with you, I should build a moment and try to make it seem like there's a chance. But I think we're probably cooked any way you slice it here. We have a very powerful joker, but we don't have the econ to get this run off the ground. Yeah, I think it's a hold our situation, unfortunately. We need, we need a, a Malt Joker early on. That's how she goes sometimes. I'll discard. I mean, we, we, our hand size is out of control. You gotta have a, a full house or something for us, right? No, no full house? Like, am I losing my mind? There's the full house. We also have 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack. Full house is better, though. Seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack. <clears throat> have you unlocked Plasma Deck? I have. I have unlocked Plasma Deck. I have indeed. I like Empress. An early Empress is actually like better than a Joker. I know it's a controversial statement, don't get me wrong. Let's go, uh, let's start clubs posting. I don't know if we're going for flushes, but it, it's, it's just what presented itself. Hmm, a death card. I guess we've we got some aces chilling in this deck. You could do worse than getting more aces. And then the worst swashbuckler of all time. Okay, it's not a great situation to be in to have no jokers. But it's it's where we're at. <laughs> Aces. We'd love, to, we'd love to draw one more king, please. Not disappointed in this so far, don't get me wrong, but I'd love to draw one more. No more kings. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Get strength on, and then you guys get boosted. And look at this. Four of a kind on the, on the second ante. Like, that's pretty good. <clears throat> the back of this deck looks like... A Baskin Robbins after a fire. Okay, I expected that uh, what you said would make no sense, but you're absolutely right. I can see that. I, has anyone here ever uh, worked at a Baskin Robbins? What is it? What's the number? 57 flavors, or am I thinking of Heinz? 62 flavors? How many flavors do they have at Baskin Robbins? It's a famous number. 37, 37. If anyone here has ever worked at a Baskin Robbins, tell me something, okay? Some of those quirky flavors, like your the, the bubblegum birthday cake ice cream, you've been running that same tub since like 2021, right? I know vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, cookie dough, like that shit. You're, you're going through like a tub every two days or something like that, but... <laughs> Goldenrod Espresso, I know you're still rocking 2021 Vintage. Mmm, ice cream so old. <laughs> I haven't been to a Baskin Robbins in a long time. I am, uh, I would say I'm Dairy Queen pilled right now. I guess you keep the, keep the Queens. We know we're drawing Aces though. Menchie's is good. I feel like Menchie's, uh, it's a frozen yogurt spot. They kind of, uh, they popped off for a while and then they all disappeared. It was like in 2010 when 
like cupcakes started popping off everywhere. Like every mall ha had eight cupcake stores. And then like three years later, there were no cupcake stores left in existence. By the way, if anyone here is a restaurateur, I have a great business idea for you. I think, and everyone's gonna say no, that's how you know it's a good idea. <clears throat> the world is ready for a 2010 restaurant. A restaurant that mines 2010 nostalgia. I want a bottle of sriracha on every single table. I want posters in the restaurant that say keep calm and bacon on. We are so ready for a 2010 restaurant to come back. It's too soon. It's been 14 years, bro. He's cooking. <laughs> Finger mustache is so true. Plus two bit, minus two idea. You wouldn't catch me eating there, that's for sure. But everything's maple bacon. Every burger has a like runny egg on top of it and an onion ring. The burgers are all 32 feet tall. We're so ready. What am I doing? What is this run? This run is full houses and four of a kinds. It's anti two. Don't cry. We're still just getting started. You're giving me 10 molt for free, which is freaking swag. I'm very appreciative of this fact. We're trying to draw our good aces. Yes, we are people. Yes, we are. Well, you are either a king or an ace. I'm going to bet on you being an ace. In which case, we just play this. What do you have? Six of diamonds? What, do you, what is it you do, the idol? I don't know. <laughs> I gotta think about it. It being eternal sucks. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm going in. Why haven't malls all died out yet? Uh, I, well, they're not busy. I'll definitely tell you that. But I think I'm part of like the last mall generation. I like the mall, man. Or at least I don't, I don't have the same kind of like negativity associated with the mall that like people 10 years younger than myself seem to have. Everything, the mall, here's, and I can already tell, people are gonna say NL's the modern Socrates. It's crazy to me that people out there like buffets but don't like malls. Because a mall is basically just a buffet of stores. As a result of having access to all this convenience and variety, yes, of course, every store is mid. The same way when you go to a buffet, like the butter chicken isn't as good as the butter chicken would be at an Indian restaurant. The orange chicken isn't as good as it would be at a Chinese restaurant. The chicken tenders aren't as good as they would be at a chicken tenders restaurant. But you embrace mid in exchange for the convenience of having access to a variety. It's the same thing with the mall. Yeah, when you go to the mall, you're not gonna be like, oh, check out this amazing one-of-a-kind thing I got at the mall. But you're gonna be like, check it out, bitch. I got chicken teriyaki, gym shorts, and my prescription filled, like all in the same day. Plus you get to walk around with the little orange Julius. It's just, you know, it's, it's a nice way to spend a, a couple hours sometimes. I'm not like, you know, it's not my idea of a good time to go to the mall, like on vacation or something like that. But, you know, if you got nothing else to do, you can, you can kill 90 minutes in a mall, easy mode. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but remember, recall, you are playing four of a kind, four of a kind. This is the way. We do not have four of a kind. So I am going to play Dookie Butter. Wait, are you a six of uh, ten of clubs? We don't have it, okay. Ten of clubs. I hate you. Her, go ahead. That's four of a kind. This should be enough. And if it's not, we just hold R. It's that simple. 
Canadian malls aren't the same as American malls. Yeah, they're worse. You got us beat in a lot of domains, and that's that's certainly one of them. I could spend those 90 minutes grinding the Fortnite Battle Pass. You, uh, you, you will not see heaven. I know we're, we're going back to the well with these bits, but it's a certainty. It's a certainty that you will not see heaven. I don't want any of this shit. I want... I don't want any of this shit. Let go my ego. And send me. Negative Joker. It's just science. You have to do it. Uh, and then do this. Okay. This this run has a chance. It's a slow burner. The same. Your daddy's mama Liz's chili oil. Where's my ace, bro? You excited for Stranger Things Season 5? Yep. I'm over the moon. I can't wait to see what that nutty Demogorgon gets up to this time. Oh, come on with this. <laughs> we boycott? I mean, I've been boycotting it in a way for like, uh, probably like five years now. I just kind of, I guess I just kind of got sick of it at some point. Oh, my... I do have lots of, <coughs> pardon me, lots of aces of clubs. Negative eternal joker is not that big of a deal, but I'm not playing too many flushes. I just got to be honest with you, brother. I think that like, I think we're in a, a, a tight spot. 50, the joker I just sold, you wanted me to get it back? It would be wise to play even like club flushes with our cool aces might be the way. Like you got a cool ace? It's a flush, it's a level one flush, but we're getting eight molt off of every single one. Ah, it fucking sucks, bro! <laughs> How about five of a kind? Okay, it turns out five of a kind, still pretty good. Club, club. I'm not feeling good about this one. It's ass. <laughs> I do feel like we're kind of just riding this one out until we die. Another negative joker, okay. Hanging by a thread. I'm actually um, holding on to what you said. Wait, how, how does that Lifehouse song go? I'm hanging by a moment here with you. That's all it is. Aren't we all? It's damn true. It's damn true, brother. We have two clubs, come on. We're so back. No salutes, please. The guitarist from Lifehouse tried to uh, my girlfriend in Las Vegas. Have you ever considered that he may have some sort of condition that means that he has to try to uh, your girlfriend in Las Vegas? Like, I would expect you to be like a little bit more compassionate. <clears throat> Every played card count in, counts in scoring. Bro's using the DoorDash rhetoric. I'm just saying, man. Hey, more aces, more aces. You didn't destroy an ace. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's so fucked up, man. You don't fucking do anything, bro. You don't fucking do anything. Four of diamonds? What am I going to do with that shit? All diamonds are debuffed. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Just what I needed. <laughs> oh, man. 
Okay. You guys want some cookies? I mean, we need five of a kind aces, I think. We got it. Two of our aces are debuffed. That's not great. Any chance you're, you're asking for a four of diamonds? That's right. I, uh, I think we're cooked, lads. I think we're cooked on this one. Stop tossing clubs, you melt. It's I, no disrespect to you. I looked at my analytics yesterday for tax purposes. 5.2% of my Twitch audience is British, but it's actually so funny when a British person insults you. They start pulling out the fucking Jeffrey Chaucer shit. Shit you haven't heard since Beowulf and Grendel were beefing. You melt. <laughs> Bro's referencing the fucking Canterbury Tales and shit. He's saying shit like, get thee to a nunnery. I'm like, okay, Shakespeare, whatever. I bite my thumb at thee. Well, I bite my thumb at thou. This gets us there, no doubt. All right, we go again. I'm a double skipper. Never half step, because I'm not a half stepper. Drink a lot of soda, so they call me Mr. Soda. <clears throat> Dr. Pepper? No, I think we're. Been, you should. You should listen to the song again. Okay, abstract Joker, absolutely takeable. Absolutely takeable. Will lead us to kings. Can't take you, though. And you are generating three molt, which fucking sucks. But a reroll should give us another jug. Okay. Ham size plus some chips plus some fucking... It's cumulative. There's something to... There's something to this one. Four, five, six, seven. Dump them. Don't dump them. Four, five, six, seven, nine. How about king, king, nine, nine? No, no, no. We really need to play a straight because it increments this fucking bad boy forever. Four, five, six, seven, like you're, you're joking me, right? You're joking me? Three, four, five, six, seven, thank you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, start there. And then we're straight chilling. Listen, I'll be honest, it's kind of dookie, but it does make Abstract Joker better. I think we actually have a, a good thing going. We just need to play straights. Two, three, four, five, seven, fucking, what the hell are you talking about? Give me some, sh give me, give me a straight, bro. Give me a, how can you not give me a straight off of this shit? I'll play King King. Two, three, four. I guess I'll play King, King, Jack, Ten. That was a big hand. Okay, it turns out that was a good hand. How's your bracket looking? I'm trying to keep the heat off me, but I'm one of the 0.7% uh, of people on Earth right now that uh, still has a perfect bracket. I've gotten everything right so far. And the thing is, I, um, hang on, 10 jack, queen, king. Now we're, now we're cooking with gas. A lot of people, they'll, they'll ask me questions. They'll say like, how did you get a perfect bracket? And like, I, I don't know how to answer the question without it being insulting. I just picked like almost entirely the favorites, but then in situations where I knew that an underdog was gonna win, I went with the underdog instead. Like it was basically like a risk-free investment. So I'm, I guess I, I just consider myself lucky that like nobody's been able to replicate that strategy because that'll be, obviously it won't be as good for me if everybody's out there cooking up the same sort of perfection, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Maybe it's because I've been subsisting on NL chip VODs while I get through RSV, but is it just me or does NL look way younger today? Darker beard, ultra smooth skin, way more color in the face. 
Yeah, I had my ad ad adrenochrome dose uh, yesterday. It, it had been kind of like shut down for a while. But they got it. They hooked it up again. I've been getting blood transfusions from my daughter. No, actually, it's just that, first off, I appreciate it. But secondly, it was like I, I was sick last week. I was, in a, I was in a bad spot. I was getting very pale. My mitochondria were, were being hijacked by influenza type A. And now, I mean, now we're straight chilling again. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You had that gray dickhead? That's true. That is true. I did. The head of my penis did turn gray, which is not a good sign. But now we're chilling. I hate it when that happens. Girls just don't understand, man. When you and the lads get together and start talking about when the head of your penis changes color. <coughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'll delete it. Um, give me this. Okay, we just keep playing straights. We're, we're doing every encounter because we wish to increment runner. I mean, people will tell you you shouldn't base your entire run around the first joker that you get, but what if that first joker is fucking runner? Negative runner, bro. You gotta give him a chance. <clears throat> it's fun. I'll take us for fucking Saturn any day of the week, bro. It's probably the best planet. You ever think that Uranus gets sort of like pissed off? Because Saturn gets all the credit for having rings, but Uranus also has rings? Then people are like, yeah, but the rings are like vertical instead of horizontal. Then, man, fuck you. It's a straight right there. Uranus flexes, it's an ice giant. It's fucking like negative, negative 254 degrees Celsius on that bitch or something. Twitch chatters from Norway have been real quiet ever since the Uranus weather forecast dropped. You thought you had it bad in Svalbard? It's fucking three degrees Celsius in July? Well, why don't you go to Uranus, motherfucker? It's almost absolute zero in this bitch. Shut up. <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say at the end of the day. I'm trying to say shut up. Ace, two, three, four, five. That's a freaking straight right there. It is a Stephen A. Smith type bit. Saturn, I get it. Saturn's got rings. But you, you, you got to consider the longevity of Uranus. You got to consider the blueness of Uranus. Hang on, ace, two, five, six, seven, so we can get that bonus Andy. That doesn't work. Ace, three, five, six, seven. Now we're talking. Stephen A. Smith is a William Herschel stan. I've never been, like, more thankful to not know what the fuck that means. I don't know what that means. It's not as limited as a, as a Mercury. So true. But actually, okay, listen, listen, listen. I think we got to dump Smiley here and try for something a little crazier. We got we to gotta take a swing. Uh, I regret it. I do. He's the guy who found Uranus. Oh, well, he's taking credit for Uranus. Uranus obviously existed before he found it. No disrespect or whatever. Why did I keep seven sevens? It doesn't make any sense. You gotta keep one seven, bro. Seven, eight, nine, ten, queen. Why are you saying Uranus like that? That's how I say it. Uranus. 
buffoon me. You know what? We could at least talk about even Steven here. Upgrade straight by three levels. Don't mind if I do. Four, five, six, eight, nine. That's a straight in this household. And dude, I'm just realizing how many... I could do some cookery. Nine, jack, king, <laughs> queen, king, ace. Because we with the gaps, we could do like just even cards in some circumstances. But ideally, I'd love to get rid of this joker and get a better one at some point. Oh, anti-matter! <laughs> oh, that's good stuff, man. That is good stuff right there. Come on. He thinks the game doth protest too much. I mean, we got we got to dump our our face cards, bro, because we got five, six, seven, eight. Those are even Andy's. So you play five, six, eight, ten, and maybe throw a little seven in there just to enable it. It's not as limited as a flush. And then you play a flush with two evens. That's still pretty good, honestly. What are we at here? 180 chips out of runner. Nothing wrong with that. Negative mail-in rebate. I'm sorry. We have to purchase antimatter instead. Base chips and molt are halved. Not ideal, but ace, two, four, six, seven. Oh, but imagine. We should throw the five in if we're going to do that. But imagine if it was fucking two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, baby. Oh, <laughs> It actually looks kind of tough. Don't do me like that, man. Ace, two, three, four, seven. I think we need to buy a Joker in our next shop, but I don't know what we're gonna replace. Oh, we have antimatter. We don't need to replace shit, bro. We don't need to replace shit. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Now it's, you're just getting a little goofy footed with it now. Okay, you're being a, you're being a real piece of work. How about King King seven seven? We keep an eight. Six, eight, nine, ten with a little four kicker. I'm still alive. Uranus has numerous climate phenomena that science can't understand. Um you sure? Are you talking about the hexagonal demon cloud? By the way, I cannot afford a joker. So I don't know what you want me to do. I mean, I can afford this joker, but he's not going to give me 50 chips. So what's the point? So what, what would you do? I guess you could, but you'd roll and then you'd have to sell to get a joker. So I don't know. I, I guess you just got to fucking... Oh, you're, and you know what? You're right. It is three molt at the end of the day because of abstract joker. It's probably about as good as we can get. Two, three, four, five, seven. Not the best straight you're ever gonna see, but it's it's something. Okay, it's like exactly good enough. I would love to create more evens, given the opportunity, please. Two, three, five. That's not even close. You can dump it, dump it, dump it, and dump it. I think we're fucked, guys. I think we're fucked. We gotta dump a nine and a 10, and a five and a three and a two. Then you can play nine, 10, jack, king, ace. At least there's a bonus card and an even. And then you got two, four, six. You got two, three, four, six, seven with some bonuses attached. And then you got four, five, six, seven, eight. We make it. We make these. Thank you to Runner for holding us in the game. We have nine dollars. Brother, can I get a Joker that isn't fucking detritus, please? Thank you. Um, how many straights have we played? Twenty-two of them. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Two, five. Mm, I can. I see a problem with this. Five, six, seven, eight, ten. I see a solution. Plus thirty-two molten increasing. So yeah, I'm saying we're back. Two, three, four, five, seven. We really, it would be nice to be able to sell even Steven and then just get one molt multiplier. And then I think we at least win anti eight. Although we're probably cooked after that. Come on, get, get my econ going. I know we're down to zero dollars, but like, what am I gonna do with this shit, bro? Let's just be realistic. Like, what, what do you want me to do here? <laughs> Remove some face cards from my deck. And fucking, I don't know, wild up a five. Antediluvian machines. Me when I use a screw. I hear that. Three, four, six, seven, eight. I mean, we have four, six, eight. We have four, six, eight, nine, Jack. That's a straight. Antediluvian's kind of a banger word. It's a big one. It's, a, it's an important word. Perfectly cromulent word. I cannot afford We Joker. Unfortunately. I would love to. But it's a little late to start building it. Hand size is good too. But I think we're I think we're we're chilling. First hand is drawn face down. Ace, two, four, six, eight. Oh ho ho baby. Fifty four thousand points. Ace two. Three, four, six. Six, seven, nine, ten, queen. We're actually so back. I think we're so lucky that we had we got this runner early. But this is usually by anti eight, you're like, my ass is dead or my ass is easily winning. We're like right on the fucking borderline right now. How about a jumbo spectral pack? Well, well, um, we will deja vu on an even card. <laughs> it's getting a little tight. How about a Saturn? No Saturn. Okay, how about an Earth then? What do you want from me? Flips and shuffles all jokers. Actually, doesn't matter as long as we make sure swashbucklers on the right. But it's going to be close, guys. It's going to be close. 810 Jack, Queen, King. Where's Mars on your solar system tier list? It's pretty high up. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, what are the worst planets in the solar system? Ever since they yeeted Pluto, like we're kind of chilling. Like most of the planets are pretty good. Mercury is probably the worst. I just don't see the point. Um, and then like Uranus and Neptune, I just think that they have a PR problem. Because it's like after Saturn, it's like they got Uranus, they got Neptune. Which one's the big blue one? Which one's got the rings? Like they just, they, they, they kind of get lost in the, in the shuffle together. They're like twin planets. There's no doubt Earth is up there. Venus, I feel like Venus kind of sucks ass too. Like I'm it's not going to hold it against it, but like a planet that's filled with like choking sulfuric acid clouds. Like that sounds not nice for sure. So I gotta say, like, Earth is up there, Saturn is up there. Saturn's just the coolest planet. I resisted it for a long time, but it's true. And then I think number three, you gotta say it's either Jupiter, because it's big as fuck, or you gotta say Mars, because it's so close, and yet it's so far away that it captures the human imagination. That's my, that's my top three planets. Four, five, 
seven eight jack that does not get you there four five seven eight ten gets you there sorry it's just not in the cards brother ace two three five six is in the cards though You're telling me it's not Planet X, which we're doomed to collide with like every other year? Is that true? Is that one of those things where like it, uh, we pass like, they're like, this is the closest this planet has ever been to Earth. And then when you actually look at the real news story, it's like 100 trillion miles away. Hey, times three molts, if your hand contains a straight and it's polychrome, they basically said you win. I appreciate that. <laughs> they they said you fought your fucking ass off to get to this point. Enjoy this. Dead ass. This is swashbuckler. I saw it. I saw it. Ace two four five seven. Endless me. Okay, we were off by one, but whatever. I don't think we have much of a future, to be honest, but the fact that we made it through that run was kind of sick. So then, it's just, it's really hard to scale a, a straight build. Because you can't just duplicate like the same cards over and over again. You should dump your three and a six and a queen or an ace. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I guess what, what do we care about evens anymore? We should try to keep cards together. Like two, three, four, six, seven at least gives us a high straight potential at the end. I'm proud of us though. Anytime you win with a straight build, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Any words of wisdom for those of us experiencing sunis, sudden penis explosion syndrome? Um... I think I gotta look up the the symptoms of this sudden penis explosion syndrome. Six, hang on, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. First, we're gonna do that. Is this a real thing? I'm alt tabbing. Sudden penis explosion syndrome. Google did not auto complete. <clears throat> Coro. Koro is a culture-bound delusional disorder in which individuals have an overpowering belief that their sex organs are retracting and will disappear. It's also known as shrinking penis. <laughs> the syndrome occurs worldwide and mass hysteria of genital shrinkage and anxiety has a history in Africa, Asia, and Europe. Sorry, in North America we're just built different. The word was borrowed from Malay and means head of a turtle referring to how it looks when they retract their heads into their shells. Human brain is crazy, man. Can you imagine going to the doctor and you're like, my penis is gonna shrink and fall off? No wonder my ass can't get an appointment. I don't want any of this shit. What am I, what am I doing? Three, four, six, seven, eight. That's a straight. <clears throat> dunk, 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 dunk. Nine, ten, Jack, Queen, King. Were you in the pool? That's the first question the doctor has to ask. You've astutely noticed that for sure. Because if you were in the pool, like, all bets are off. We're shrinking dick, yo guys! <laughs> Five guys are shrinking dick in Munchen! Plus one hand size. Spectral pack. Hmm. Cryptid. Grim. Familiar. 
All of these are ass. I don't want any of this shit. I guess I'm gonna cryptid this because it's got something going on, but then like, I'm skipping the rest, man. Cause like, I think we're just, I, I'm just leveling with you. I think we're, we're cooked. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't think we have a way to scale this run. It's fine. I, I, I'm happy to have just made it as far as we did. Three, four, six, seven, nine. Dipped in Mama Liz's shortcut oil. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Did you see the tweets about r slash adultery? And the dude who got upset his wife lied about knowing he was cheating? Yes, I did. I did see the, the posts about the guy who was cheating on his wife. And then he felt betrayed that she had apparently discovered that he was cheating several months ago, but kept it a secret from him so that he got blindsided when she left him. And everybody in the comments, I mean, this is r slash adultery, but everybody in the comments is like, bro, you cheated on her. And he's like, I know, but I just didn't think that she had this in her. And I was, you're like, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> Like, nobody was giving him any sympathy at all. Which is fair. It was a great, a great post. Three, four, five, six, seven. Egg is rocking the stubble. I think um, I have accepted I'm going to grow a beard. For a bit at least. Not for a bit, like not for comedic purposes, but for for a, a period of time. This is it, my friends. This is the end. And the horseshoe. I haven't decided what length to keep the horseshoe at, um, but I do like having a little horseshoe, honestly. This might even be a little too much. Like, maybe we gotta trim this down a little bit. But definitely the beard's got a way to go. Okay, slash marker meat. We'll call that Balatro 2. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I'll be back in a couple minutes. We'll play some more Balatro. See you in a moment.
Sorry, I was mustering the strength to open a uh, Costco protein bar. My parents, uh, so they were here for two weeks, okay? They have reached, I don't know if this is universally true of people as they age, but they have reached uh, an age where after they eat dinner, they just eat a protein bar. It's their life. I'm not trying to like, you know, tear them down or anything like that. But they would like eat dinner. And then they would like my mom would reach into her purse and she would pull out two protein bars and they would just eat the protein bars. My dad does the same thing after lunch. <laughs> I, I don't know where it came from, but it seems to be working out well for him. I don't know. She does keep the MF and thing on her. That's for she's got like she's protein barred up to the freaking gills, man. By the way, who gave me a subscription to uh, a a Twitch streamer? Let me see. The prefix of their emote is bat at. So what ends up happening is I go into someone else's chat and I type bat. And then I go for auto completes. And then I post this. So get, get your eyes ready. And then Justin is like, Ryan, what fucking emote is that? And I'm like, I don't know, man. I was just trying to put bat chest, but now I got this anime lady transforming into like a, a demogorgon or something. Is actually, I, I don't mean this in a negative way to the streamer, but I've been gifted like a, a malevolent gift sub that has ruined my autocomplete for Bat Chest, which is an emote I do all the time. They put out a damn hit on me, man. I'm, I'm getting trolls. <laughs> I got griefed. It's not like a, again, it's nothing against the streamer, but I'm like, my whole workflow is all fucked up now. All right, slash marker, ballot troll. We're so back. New run. We've been doing pretty well, honestly. How about plasma deck? Let's get some plasma deck going. Sure, $5 and a rare joker. And a flush. So the plasma deck... We want to chip smacks, right? DNA! <laughs> That's a crazy first Joker, bro. Um, I was hoping to get a Hierophant card. Fool card kind of goes crazy. I guess we would prob. I mean, sure, there's Hermit potential, but it's pretty whack. I guess you would like Magician. And then probably fool another magician, I guess. Yeah, let's give it a try. I mean, this is tough, man, because there's like some serious like flush house potential here. If we just start duplicating this queen. In the and you know what? Maybe this is a good opportunity for me to um Acknowledge that I have, have been underrating wild cards for a long time. I'm willing to say it. I don't care who knows it. You know what? I'm willing to play this to try to get 20 bucks. <laughs> Worst idea in human history, without a doubt. I don't know what I was thinking. How about how about twenty dollars though? How about twenty dollars? No, that's fine. That's fine. No big deal. <clears throat> Wild cards can be kind of rough with the bosses. It is true. L luckily, not this boss, but yet you have you raise a good point. You steam a good ham, Seymour. I would like to duplicate a good card, please. Yeah! Ace, two, three, four, five, eight. 
Don't fucking kill me. This is a good run. Ah, son of a bitch. I am going to die. Yes! Oh, I lost my seven and I got $20 and 20 malt! That hurts, bro. That's crazy. You can't tell me they didn't put some extra sauce on the uh, on the randomness generator for that one. What a roller coaster. Uh, we have fun here. <laughs> All right, I don't know what I was thinking with that one, honestly. Your space jokers will now never trigger again. Well, uh, honestly, they weren't triggering in the first place, so. No harm, no foul. Empress, sure. Empress kind of go crazy. Free mega buffoon pack. We did kind of need some jokers. Well, not these ones, though. How about heart? And money. Econ can always hit the spot. And you know what? I'm not scared. Give me a foil joker. NL, you are going to die. Brother, we're all gonna die. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You're gonna give me the ace of spades. I never realized I could make such a good car sound with my mouth. Um, no, you see, the thing is, you're going to give me the ace or the nine of spades. You are, you're a real piece of work. I'm, st I'm staying in with it. Morning, all right. I'm just going to hold R. I'm not going to dignify that with a response. No hero font, huh? Why do they always, this is the most fucked up mega arcana pack, bro. Four suit changing cards and a hermit? Like, what are we doing? It's four dollars. And then, like, a fucking. I don't know. Guess what? We're spades pilled now. Now, be smart. Early game, flushes will steer you well. Spade cards do be giving you chips. Speak on that. What do you mean by that? The spade card do be giving me chips. What do you mean by that when you say that? This is another, like, essentially, I would say, equally ass pack. Give me a steel queen. There's a good spade joker? Yeah, but I don't fucking have it. So what are we talking about? Now we're talking... Just get it? World's worst roguelite players, no disrespect. Brother! We're Balatro players, of course we play flushes. How we doing with the Costco guys? We still like the Costco guys? Have they posted any more, uh... They posted any more content since they, they blew up? Nope, nothing, all right. Fair enough. Things you love to see. They've been accused of high treason. Actually, like, doesn't even bother me. Maybe I'm not a real patriot. If someone wants to commit treason, I'm honestly not 100% sure that it's my business. For Costco guys, of course, we don't capitalize on going viral. Well, honestly, this is a stereotype, but the dad from the Costco guys video looks like he owns like a $10 million concrete pouring company. So they might just be chilling. They might not need like the pennies on the dollar that they'd get from TikTok fame. 
I guess we should be spending a little money here. <laughs> what do you want from me, man? Fantastic. <laughs> Base chips and molt are halved. Let me guess, Matador doesn't work on that because it would be overpowered. At least we got chips, man. Of course, we're Costco guys. Of course, we got chips. Fifty chips is it works? It works. Let's go. Never mind. Local thunk, you are no longer dead to me. Two chips for every dollar you have. Currently, we have negative four dollars or Space Joker, which I've been cursed to believe will not work for us today. But sure, let's give it a chance. Let's give it a chance. Why not? What could go wrong? Flush me, Jay. Flush me. Spades. Things you love to see. So this shit should give me seven dollars. Oh my god, it actually worked. I apologize for my prodigious burps, by the way. What if you leveled up high card a little bit? They, they fucking did it, man. The madman. Holy cow. I couldn't really have played a worse hand. Always take banana. Give you that one for free. Face, you know what? This, this could give us some economics. One in seven cards get drawn face down. Am I insane to think that that sounds insane? Me when I'm Corey? <clears throat> I was thinking about me. Oh my God, it's an amazing space joker. I was thinking about making a Corey tweet on the weekend because I was in, Kits <coughs> in Kitsilano and there was an esthetician and on the, you know how every business now has like a neon sign that says like keep calm and fucking coffee on or whatever. This one had a, um, a sign out in the front and I'll, I'll give you the Corey rap that I was going to tweet and that will unveil to you what the sign said. Uh oh, you got to stop me. I think it's getting clear. The best facials are happening here. Darth Vapor on the mic. <laughs> Sorry, you ever see that tweet? Mm -hmm. Delightful. Yeah, we're due, we're due. One in seven cards get drawn face down. Excuse me, I should have $21, or I should have 14 extra dollars in my pocket as far as I'm concerned. Oh, y'all, it's getting kind of hazy. <laughs> so, so fucking true. Yay! <laughs> sorry, sorry, still a little lung butter in there. Why is Matador so fucking ass, bro? I like, I like this. Um... I think I gotta sell it. I like Wee Joker. You're lucky, Lee, man. I'll make you a deal. You keep your money, you get your mojo. And I get your baby. We want to play flushes. Preferably flushes that have twos in them. From now on, we'll travel through twos. Huge, huge. Because this is giving us, this is chipping us up to the fucking gills, bro. And the chips are are very valuable, at least at the outset of a of a plasma deck run. We Joker passes you the boof. What do you do? I hit that shit. No questions asked. What's the boof, by the way? It's a, some kind of marijuana imbibing device, correct? It's 
3,000.2, bro. That's a 3,000.2. <clears throat> no, NL, you're not supposed to hold it in. It doesn't do anything. I still think that's bullshit. I was always told, I mean, I'm, we're, we're working on antiquated knowledge here from the antediluvian era. I was always told to hold it in. Cards previously played this ante are debuffed. Fuck you. Doctor here, you don't need to hold it in. Well, like back in the day, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Everyone that I ever smoked weed with uh, in college is basically the dumbest person on the planet. The weed phenotype used to be idiot. But then at some point, like it shifted and now everybody who smokes weed has like a PhD in chemical engineering and shit. So you used to like get weed knowledge from like the dumbest motherfucker you ever met. Who's like, yeah, you have to hold it in for six seconds so it gets into your lungs. And then now people are like, well, actually, like it passes the blood brain barrier in like one eighth of a second. So you, as long as you hold it in for at least one eighth of a second, you're good. And I'm like, what the fuck? When did we when did we cross this threshold? I guess I'll play the worst flush of all time and be asked to leave. Oh, y'all, it's getting kind of hazy. <laughs> oh, man. I, I got an idea. I got a game plan. This is the game plan. What if I don't get a heart? This is why you chill for a second. Now we're chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You play a two. It still should affect... It did not affect it. So it doesn't even... It, it, it loses its identity when it's debuffed. It doesn't even count as a two anymore. That seems kind of fucked up. I don't think we're going to be playing too many four of a kinds, to be honest with you. I wish we were. Fucking, yeah, I love, I love a negative joker, bro. Not necessary. <clears throat> We would love to play twos. Yes. Yes, we would. Plus, dude, like, Space Joker is fucking... High cards getting juiced up. Also, is, am I insane? This is the greatest banana of all time, right? I actually wanted to get fucking killed so that we can get Cavendish. Weed Joker kind of popping. It's never gonna die, bro. We're gonna live forever. 13 free dollars. <coughs> we like it. We do. Times three molt if you got a straight. We don't like We hate it. We fucking hate it. We do. We do. We're Costco guys. Of course we hate that Joker. It might be nice to get actually a club flush. If you would be so bold. If you would be so bold as to give us... <clears throat> you didn't have to do that. You had a wild card? Oh, you're talking about this guy right here? Uh-oh, y'all, it's getting kind of hazy. <laughs> no, there was another one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I'm picking up what you are putting down. Finally! Okay, we might need some help. I wish. I wish I felt like we could make that work. Did you smoke weed in Korea? No, I barely, like, smoked weed in Canada. I'm definitely not going to smoke weed in a country where they could, like, put me in prison for life for doing it. Also, I was I'm not cool enough to have, like, a drug hookup in a country where it's legal. Much less a country where they'll fucking kill you if you, <laughs> if you uh, are caught selling it. Well, we'll take a look at this one. Oh, 
the drug hookup is the store. I don't know. They just, they, I, I think I would be a little too intimidated going inside. I'm just a little freaked out by the dispensaries, you know? How about a little golden seal? Huge, 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 huge. What am I going to do with this shit, bro? We probably have three spades. I'm scared. We're so set. <laughs> Space Joker? You piece of crap. Oh, we're, never mind. We're straight chilling, bro. Ooh! Hey, Caspian. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I mean, actually, this is a great idea. Gain molt per playing card added to your deck. We could take that any day of the week. Realistically, I mean, 50 chips is nice, but you're not long for this world. You are long for this world, and then start adding some shit. Love it. Love it. Purple seal, the best seal in the whole game. We go next. Sixes, we like to play sixes. We're Costco guys, of course we love to play sixes so we get a spectral card. Yay! <clears throat> Add negative to a random joker, minus two hand size. Yeah, I just don't think we can do that one, brother. I think that's just too much. It's just a little too much. A world card, though. Hang on. Now we're... We could, we could cook so much better with it later. Just, just send this one down Main Street first. So, uh, less points than I expected. Now, you're already a wild Andrew. Get worlded. A flush. <clears throat> you sold your chips from credit card? I ain't sweating all that. To be honest with you, I think we're straight chilling. Mm -hmm. Could, I mean, there's lots of jokers we could still dump. No doubt about that. Uh, <laughs> if it, I, it often doesn't, but if it works, bro, if it works. Sorry, you, you just, you're, you're too scary. I can't take you. No repeat hand types. It's kind of spooky. Uh-oh, y'all, it's getting kind of hazy. Fool card that gives us Mars. No, I'd rather not, please. Huge, huge hand. Um, again? Come on, come on. None! None bloodstones?! Brother, help me, help me. You didn't help me enough. <laughs> there is, there's only one way out of it, bro. They didn't give it to me! How could you? Here you go. Huge. No, okay, it fucking re-triggered 17 times and still never got a single Bloodstone play. Are you kidding me? That run actually, it had a chance, bro. It had a chance. Balatro's goaded. It is like, it's the best game probably ever made, if I had to guess. 
Are you fucking kidding me with this shit, bro? Actually, it's the worst game ever made. Nah, I'm just messing. It's pretty good. Bloodstone is an instant skip for me. Nah, man. As if you get seven other jokers supporting Bloodstone... I mean, if you get the joker that makes it so hearts give you plus four mult each, and then the joker that gives you double probabilities, and then also the joker that um, you get the mouth joker and it triggers hearts, like, it really pops, man. You just wouldn't understand. Pardon me. <clears throat> I'm gonna start by making lucky aces. Who invented playing cards? That's a great question. I hope that motherfucker's getting his dick sucked in heaven right now. I guess I'll go two pair mode on you. So true. <laughs> That's a big invention, man. He deserves some credit. Or That's true. Or getting their shit eaten out in heaven. Like, I don't know who invented it. I just hope that they're living their best life. I would like judgment, please. I do like runner. I'm not sure it's the right deck for it. You know what? Let's get this shit popping. I'd rather have a square joker. That square joker can get chipped up to the fucking gills, bro. Hey, NL, you playing Slice and Dice? Remember when I told you guys Slice and Dice had shooters? It's actually the... Is, no disrespect, is it your shift at the Are You Gonna Play Slice and Dice Factory? Like, it's... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's a good game? Yeah, I know, I played it! I played a lot of it! They had an update? I know it had an update! People were popping into my chat saying... It's on iOS now. I don't even have an iPhone, bro. Like, it's not, that's not relevant to me. Hmm. Um. I'm a simple man, to be honest with you. Send it. You are giving me 20 chips. Runner's giving me 20 chips just by itself. We should go back to sorting by rank. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Thank you, indeed. We're Slice and Dice guys. Of course we ask you to play it. It's a good game. I'm not knocking Slice and Dice. Guaranteed! You know what? Just for that, I'm buying another pack. You earned it. And you know what? Two in a row. Two in a row, bitch. Oh, fuck. What was I thinking? <laughs> a moon. No, thank you. I've never seen more nopes in a row. Except when I asked everyone in the group chat if they would go to prom with me. That never happens. I don't even think group chats existed at, in 2006. <clears throat> to be honest with you. Hmm. I mean, that would be sick if I could afford it, but I obviously can't. You sell for two, you sell for one. That still doesn't even get us there. I'm sorry to say. So it's just, it just doesn't get us there, man. It just doesn't get us there. We go next. Sell everything for it? Nah, I'm not stupid most of the time. Make some mistakes now and then, but like outright dumb? No, 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 no. How about dump him? Empress me. This is... Pants would go crazy on this deck. Are wool balls better than dryer sheets? Wool balls sounds like something you see in the men's locker room. That's all I'm going to say about that question. I 
I mean, I think you gotta cryptid this shit, man. You're giving me 20 chips. I think I'd rather... Let's get an early hone going on this. Liquid detergent or pods? Uh, I'm, I've been I've been seduced by the pods. I don't I'm I'm familiar with either. If you place me in an environment where I only had access to the liquid detergent, I would do just fine. I'm sure I would uh, I would adjust mighty quick. Are we cooked, guys? Be honest with me. No, we're not cooked. I can't do math. Well, let's not flatter myself. I can't do arithmetic. This is not math. One dollar? What am I supposed to do with this shit, bro? <laughs> can't do shit with one dollar. Doubles my money? Is this a joke? Now we got some problems. I would like to play two pair. Thank you. Face cards are good for us because they're... They, they count for more chips. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I should have played four cards. There was no reason not to. Yes! <laughs> you cost too much money, but now I can afford you. Sure, the strength me up, bro. Okay, okay. Play only one hand type this round. We may well choose in this case then not to play four of a kind. Although if the chips on four of a kind... <sighs> Some fucking shit on that, bro. It's so easy for us to play two pair, though. Three of a kind is 30 times three. Well, maybe we just play three of a kinds then. But you should save your three of a kind with the good aces until the last hand. I don't know what I'm doing with this. Um, this is actually what I was hoping for. Three of a kind sixes. Detritus. And then three of a kind cool aces. Oh, 20 molt! <laughs> My McDonald's drive through window guy had lips connected in the middle. What the fuck is going on today? What do you mean lips connected in the middle? What does that mean? Are you talking about like in Men in Black 1? Where the dude had the blink sideways? <laughs> well, I don't know. It sounds like he's just a normal guy and you're the you're the one who was freaking out at the drive thru, honestly. I'm starting the question. Wait, tell me what your McDonald's drive thru order is and I'll tell you if you're the crazy one. I swear to you, if that shit looks like a CVS receipt, you will not reach heaven. One hamburger. It's an insane order. It is an insane order, but we, we kind of love it in some ways. <coughs> Excuse me. I think we need to play hands here. 
Oh, $12 for me? You shouldn't have. And what do we play? I guess we'd love to play like fucking four of a kind if we could. Three of a kind is probably like pretty sick, but four of a kind would go fucking crazy, dude. All right, I guess we'll be playing three, but do we even want to play this three of a kind yet? Maybe we don't, brother. Maybe we don't. NL, I pull into the McDonald's drive-thru with my kids in the car and order a black coffee. Am I the asshole? Yes. I, it's, I don't know what you want me to tell you, but yes, that makes you the asshole. With, with no disrespect, you know, like it's hard out there for everybody. <clears throat> but if you are going, th if you're getting yourself something at McDonald's, you have to get your kids something at McDonald's. It's just the way of the world. This is not too bad. That's the rule. Sorry, I had another another interior burp. How about a wheel of fortune? And sometimes, as a parent, it's an uncomfortable truth. A lot of people are not going to like this. But honestly, as a parent, you got bigger problems. <laughs> this is relatively minor. Um, 40 chips for each remaining discard, huh? Let me just try something out then. That wasn't even four cards. I don't know what I was thinking. That's a lot of points though, holy. Sometimes being the, the parent means that even when you want a treat, you have to acknowledge that it's not an amenable situation for a treat. For example, my daughter had always had a snack or she already had a snack yesterday. She already had some like Hello Kitty marshmallows that were filled with strawberry jam or something like that. I, after lunch, I was like, I could kind of go for a sweet treat. I could kind of go for like a DQ blizzard or something like that. That would really hit the spot. But then I thought to myself, I can't do it. Because if I go to Dairy Queen, I have to get my kids something. Otherwise, she's gonna be very upset. And if I get her something, that's way too much sugar for like a three and a half year old to have. I don't know what the optimum level of sugar is for a three and a half year old. It's probably zero. <laughs> so I said, you know what? I, I've, I've got to go without for now. It's the, it's the way of the world. If your kid is two months old. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like peak fat dad time. Well, no, 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 because you're not eating leftover breast milk. I would say when your kid's like one and a half, that's peak fat dad time. Because like the only thing that many kids eat is either fruit that's really fucking expensive, like a Tulfo mangoes or something like that. They don't want the honey mangoes. They only want the red and green ones. Or they're like, I only want grilled cheeses, quesadillas, and like air fried French fries. And then they eat like four French fries and because they weigh three kilograms, they're like, I'm full. And you're like, well, I guess I got to eat the rest of the bag. What did you just say? Well, I was thinking like peak fat dad times is when you make your kid a meal, but then they only eat like an eighth of it. So I was going to say two months old was peak fat dad times, but kids don't start eating solid food until they're like six months old. <clears throat> the other thing that's that is the other thing the breast milk thing that's why i'm saying you're not e eating leftover breast milk you're eating leftover grilled cheese why not well, i don't know it's not for me it is crazy like this website is so fucking cooked there's people out there who are literally like, oh, I don't like fucking lettuce. And they're like, you didn't try the breast milk? You fucking bitch, you don't eat cauliflower. No, I didn't try the breast milk. I'm a normal guy. You think your ass is like so freaky. You think you're so out there. Then you go to like a fucking Lebanese restaurant and you're like, can I have the chicken tenders? Don't put on airs in my chat. I see right through you. I think I kind of like this deck, bro. I think I'm kind of, I think I'm straight chilling with this deck. What level is two pair? It can't even be debuffed. I'm too powerful. What level is one pair? 
Eh, whatever, who cares? Who asked? Anti five of eight. We got a chance. Congrats on the on the Scotty Barnes jersey. I'm proud of you. Keep up the good work. I'm proud of you. Any yogurt Andrews in the chat? Don't answer that. That that's a thinly veiled question. I don't know what they're trying to discover, but don't answer it. <clears throat> no, man, I'm sure as shit not gonna describe myself on the internet as a yogurt Andrew, okay? You're not gonna catch me doing that. <laughs> This, I, I apologize, by the way. Fuck you. This might be the most boring way that you could possibly play a Balatro run. Never discarding to get good hands, because your discards give you chips. Always playing two pairs so that it increments your molt, and always playing four cards. Like, it's... It's a very cowardly way to live your life, and I'm loving every minute of it, Jerry. I am loving every minute of it. Most consistent strat, though? Ain't nothing but a peanut, as far as I'm concerned. It's like getting the McNugget, safe and samey. I'm still mad at myself, you know, that I, I got the... Oh, <laughs> you shouldn't have. I'm still mad at myself that I got the McNuggets last week, but I, I took a risk and I got the Wickdonald sauce. Or as I call it, the Wackdonald sauce. Ruined like five of my nuggets, man. It's, it's a mid sauce. It's a mid... I don't know what happened. The Coca-Cola and McDonald's corporations, I thought they couldn't miss, okay? But fucking Coca-Cola Coca Spiced is not it, man. Raspberry mixed with like cardamom or something. It's just they, they tweak the... Just stick with the Coke and stick with the cherry, okay? Paper mache Mephistopheles. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. And then the, the, the whack Donald sauce, it's just not as good as the hot mustard or the sweet and sour or the barbecue, okay? I uh, applaud them for mixing up the dipping sauce game a little bit, but that one, they should have cooked it up in the lab and they should have been like, this ain't it. You have to have this. You have to have it. And then you keep your flat malts. You dump your 50 chips. I hate to say it. I, I think you dump your 50 chips on this bad boy. You ever dip in just ketchup? I'm not a I'm not a ketchup uh, dipper, but I do have to say, in the interest of honesty, it is pretty similar to to their barbecue sauce. I'm not gonna sit here and say you can't dip in the ketchup. What the fuck is this? And then go out and recommend a barbecue sauce like that just seems, quite frankly, it seems a little disingenuous to me. Huge, huge, huge. And I am nothing if not genuous. In, well, I don't know. I don't really know what the word means, to be honest with you. We get there. Oh, we get there. By the way, I stand by what I said earlier. If, this, if Cavendish ever breaks, that's the day I uninstall Balatro. One in a thousand should be zero. We go next. Forty dollars is mighty tempting, but incrementing square joker is mighty tempting too. You shouldn't have. <laughs> Imagine there's a third banana. Holy cow. He's Oppenheimer posting.
actually one in a thousand is not that rare. It's actually pretty fucking rare. It's actually just back of the napkin calculation is actually rarer than winning the lottery. Rare things happen all the time. That's true, but not to you. Ooh, 20 molt. At this stage in our life cycle, we should be buying planets, bro. Or we should actually just pivot to like straight up, like like a regular build. Actually, you fucking, your ass can probably go. You're basically just giving us 50 chips and then saving us in a pinch. I gotta think about it. I gotta think about this one. Not having any bonus cards kind of sucks. Even if lucky cards. If, if lucky cards have to be at this open. See, now it would be nice to have some freaking death cards, bro. But apparently... Apparently not. Strength? Not fully convinced of, of the power of strength here. You know what? This is a... It's a very bold play, don't get me wrong. And that's... Eh, it could be worse. Another judgment? Okay, well, it could be better, so let's... Fucking send this bad boy out here. Odd Todd could do something for us. Temperance is free money. Don't even talk to me on, on Bloodstone. Playing two pair sets money to zero. I straight up uh, missed the part where that's my problem. <clears throat> I do not care. Aces are odd. Yo, it's the best day of my life. Okay, actually, this is a little, it's a little scary. We need 100,000 points. We need to play two pair. And a, a discard is going to break my heart, but it's got to be done, bro. And you need to play two pair. And you need the two pair to be odd. Please, please, please. We're so in. Four sixes? No, 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 no. Two pair. I'm not even sweating the money. Couldn't care less. I crossed my legs and my phone vibrated. I think it's like, bro, I'm getting squeezed down here. <laughs> it's like, oh, fucking bag it up, bro. We don't have time to get Constellation popping. I wish we did, but we don't. We gotta go next. Give me a Spectral Pack. Sure. Sure, I'll take a Spectral Pack. Rare Joker set money to zero. Too big of a risk. Thank you for my aces. One random j Joker disabled every hand. That's gonna be tough. That's a tough one for me to get over. This is going to be a fucking battle, bro. We need to we should play odd tods. We don't have any odds to todd. <laughs> Maybe we should discard. Oh, you're you're odd. Aces are odd already. Okay, I'm willing to send it then. We got double sevens. Sevens are odd. I'm willing to send it. And now we must discard again. Once more. Very important question. Are jacks odd in this universe? The world may never know. They are not. Easiest play of my life. <laughs> So we got a real fucking problem, bro, because we can't beat the boss. So I, I think I have to voucher. Even though we lose one hand and then we've got a little bit more time to like rebuild at least.
What the fuck? <laughs> they screwed me? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Jacks are not. Nines are odd. Okay, hang on. No, no, you gotta send it. Oh, good. You disabled Cavendish. Okay, sick. Um, wait, maybe that's not that bad. Maybe you just play whatever you were gonna play anyway. It wasn't that bad. Square Joker? That's pretty bad. That was giving us like 200 chips, bro. You being disabled actually kind of opens the door for us. I mean, come on. You're gonna, you're just fucking chill out, bro. You're cooked? I don't think so, man. Oh, we only had three hands. Yes, we're cooked. <laughs> Oh, I, I forgot that we took a hand away. Okay. Slash marker me. We'll call that Balatro 3. I'm not sure. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Plasma deck, honestly. On White Stake, I was like, holy cow, the Plasma deck's like the best deck in the game. On every subsequent stake, I've been like, I'm not sure about this, man. I think I'd rather just play Balatro. What comes next? What do you think, man? A difficult game about climbing. Slice and dice? I'm telling you nuts on the table, you will never see me play slice and dice on the stream again. You can go tell the slice and dice Discord. They can call off the damn dogs, okay? But on YouTube, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Slash marker, a difficult game. Here we are. Here we are. By the way, I found out this weekend that um, for the last two weeks, I have had my DPI set twice as high as it normally is by accident. So I'm not sure how to feel about a difficult game about climbing. I'm not sure if it's going to be easier. I'm not sure if it's going to be the same. Or if it's going to be harder. Because now we're dealing with a, with a completely different... It's like going to a new planet. Like our gravity is different. So I, it's going to take us a little bit to get acclimated at least. What's the best gravity? Me personally, I'd have to say one. I'm like a huge Earth fan, to be honest with you. I mean, like, it's got its problems, but like most of Earth's problems, like, were man made, right? Like, as far as planets go, they really broke the mold with that bitch. I mean, like, what are the big problems on Earth? I'd rather not live next to, like, a volcano or have, like, a risk of dying in a horrible earthquake or something like that or get killed by a hurricane. But at, like, the same time, when you compare... Okay, so what about Mercury? Mercury is, like, fucking 400 degrees Celsius. Venus has choking clouds of sulfuric acid. Mars is... Uh, there's no fucking air, and it's minus 100 degrees Celsius. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune would literally turn you into a, a cube the second you entered their gravitational pull. I mean, like, they don't even compete, bro. None of the other planets even come close. Rip to all your non-Earth viewers. Honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. If you're an alien out there, come kill me. 
I'm waiting. I'll take one for the team. People will literally be like, why would you say that? Well, you fucking know that margarine's bad for you. You still put it on your toast. There's, there's scientific literature for that shit. I'm a butter, Andy. Well, fair enough. I eat my toast dry. You're, you're not going to reach heaven, brother. They're not going to let you in. Oh, that was close. <laughs> dry toast is, is crazy. Isn't that some shit you eat when you're on NoFap? Lamau, <laughs> Lamau. Really, nothing on the toast? What about unsauced french fries? I mean, dry french fries are fine, man. They taste good. It's like they, they already got, like, canola oil or something on them. I mean, I'd rather have, like, a dipping sauce, but a dry fry is fine. But, like, dry toast? I mean, that's... That's kind of crazy. Like, it's literally sliced in such a way as to be a perfect vessel for a spread. Old. Are you a seed oil enjoyer? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Probably. I don't know. What about, uh, is olive oil a seed oil? That's my predominant oil. Olive and avocado. Yes, yes, no, 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 yes, yes. <laughs> Olive oil is not a seed oil. I mean, fair enough. Maybe I'll make that my whole personality. We're gonna make it, I can tell. Chip me! <laughs> Has Chet never seen an olive? Well, let's not, like, be rude. Olives kind of look like seeds. They have a seed shape. No, they don't? I mean, they're literally, like, ovoid, bro. That's a seed's shape. I don't know what you want me to say. You're ovoid? <laughs> Be that as it may, you know? Ad hominem. Botanist here. Olives are fruits. Shouldn't you be like on the International Space Station or something? Or it, fucking, how about inventing... Are the botanists just lazy? Why do we still have trees that are susceptible to, like, Dutch elm disease and fucking Japanese beetle infestations? Fucking get on that shit, bro! What else are you doing? Oh, we're genetically engineering a corn plant that has 3% more oil in it. It's gonna... Have to fuck that, bro! The trees are dying, okay? Can't you just put, like, a gene from a rock into a tree so the Dutch elm can't get in anymore? It's just that easy. <laughs> I might have to crank the DPI, man. You ever think about how cooked... Or not cooked, the opposite. You ever think about how sick it is that, like... 
300 generations ago they invented artificial selection and now our fruit tastes fucking divine? They really did us a solid. I feel like these days, we can't do anything anymore. We can't fucking, at least in North America, they're like, oh, we can't, take, we can't build a bridge. Sorry, you could only build a bridge in 1930. Nowadays, even though the technology's gotten so much better and the world economy has grown like 35x since we built the last bridge, they're just too expensive now. We can't build bridges anymore. Back in like the year of fucking negative 32,000, they were like, brother, let's only plant the orange seeds that make good oranges. But we won't live in a world with good oranges. Yes, but our great, 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 great grandchildren will have fucking cracked navel oranges. And they said, what a noble cause, my brother. And they fucking did that shit. We can't do anything anymore, man. Society flourishes when men plant trees they will never sit in the shade of. We're fucking taking out the chainsaw, bro. Motherfucker. <laughs> they 2x our pimpy. So true. They took away our third spaces, but 3x our bape. It makes me fucking sick. Yeah, there's no malt shops anymore, but we crossed a Mewtwo with a fucking Elsa. <laughs> oh, man. NL, if approached by your political party of choice to run for office, would you run for office? No. I think one of the reasons that politics is kind of cooked is because you basically have... It's a raw deal, bro. You have to either be, like, lusting for power or stupid to... Or incredibly noble, more noble than me, to get into politics. 20% of the population assumes that you are, like, a fucking conspiracy Freemason who drinks human blood and you're like I'm literally just trying to get a bike lane installed on Canby Street brother like uh, can you just and what a city councilor you get paid like $81,000 a year for the privilege no fucking thank you bro hey acrylic arrow thanks for the gifted subscriptions thank you thank you hang on oh <laughs> They gotta fix the incentives, bro. That's why I think it should be like the Hunger Games. You should be able to choose the president and they should not be able to refuse. Because I only want a president who doesn't want to be president because they got other shit going on. I want to have to force someone to be president because they're the best candidate. What if it was you? I'd be pissed off. Cadmus was pissed off. I'd be pissed off. But, like, I, you, I mean, it's the law, bro. You got to do what you got to do. Them's the breaks. You should have been less cracked. I'm out for dead presidents to represent me. The world is yours. So true, Nas. So true. I'm embarrassed to say I had to look up that lyric on Rap Genius. When he said, I'm out for dead presidents to represent me, I was like, what is he talking about? Like, Abraham Lincoln? Well, in a way, turns out he's talking about money. There's that tend to be dead presidents on paper currency. <laughs> oh, bros collecting pennies. <laughs> Lincoln's on the penny, huh? That's funny. And the five? Oh, and do double it and give it to the next guy. That's what James Buchanan said. James Buchanan was the president um, before uh, Abraham Lincoln. So true. How'd you know that? 
I, every once in a while, I like to look up um, historians' rankings of like best presidents and worst presidents. And it's actually like, it's pretty easy to remember because all the best presidents, according to historians, you already know. George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, FDR, Trump, you know? They're always in the top quintile. And then like all of the worst presidents, according to historians, are literally like the six presidents before and then after Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> they were like... <laughs> They, re they had a string of, like, total dog shit presidents. And then a they, they got one fucking Lizan Al-Gaib, and then they went right back to the, to the well, man. Like, Ulysses S. Grant, maybe, he's, he's probably somewhere. He's, I bet he's in the top half of U.S. presidents, but... He fucked up Reconstruction a bit? Well, like, listen, I'd like to see you do better. I don't really know that much about Ulysses S. Grant except for Wild Wild West. Teddy Roosevelt was cool, but he's also kind of a meme. It's crazy. Isn't Teddy Roosevelt like the second youngest president in history? It's crazy to think. I mean, that's just what like 42 year old dudes look like back then, I guess. Dudes wearing like a suit and tails with a cummerbund and a fucking monocle and a chain attached to his belt and shit like that. Oh, <laughs> he was the youngest. No shot, bro. No shot. Obama was younger than Teddy Roosevelt, right? No? JFK was the youngest? Obama's 65? Yeah, fucking now, in, two, in, in 08, that motherfucker was hooping, bro. He was 47 and Teddy was 42. 42, holy cow. That is... It is young, man. Here's a trivia question for you. What's the youngest... And I don't have the answer. What's the youngest person who's ever run for president? Like, as the, lead, the candidate for one of the major parties? Is there some shit in, like, uh, you know, the 1800s where, like, a 28-year-old dude actually ran? He should have been at the club. <laughs> you have to be 35 based Woo! list of presidential candidates that didn't win is kind of obscure well I don't know any of those fuckers from the 1800s basically I will say it's crazy to think well, I was going to say in our lifetime but now that uh, I think about it you probably weren't alive in, it was either 92 or 96, Ross Perot got fucking like 18% of the vote. That's crazy, bro. Nowadays, the third parties get like 2%. That dude was out here getting a, a fifth of Americans. Hey. It's a hard game. It's a hard game, people. It is. Hello. Whoop. <laughs> hey, Anel, what was the last TV show that caused you to get pissed off beyond belief? You ever hear of a little show called The News? True. Kate, Kate didn't like that joke, though. Now I'm getting shamed. My shower is dirty. It's the place I go into when I'm at my dirtiest. Of course it's dirty. That's what it's, that's what it's there for. <laughs> Mm. 
Why are you shitting in the shower? It's just like I, I'm, I don't want to unreasonably defend myself. It's just body hair. Like you go into the shower, you fucking shower, and like every time you shower, like ten body hairs fall off of you. After two weeks, you got fucking like three hundred hairs or something. Like it's, it's just a curse, man. <laughs> Again? Aren't you like Bigfoot level hairy? No, that motherfucker is like an animal. He's, he's literally coated in like a thick layer of hair. He, you can't see his skin. I am... I don't know how to describe... I, I wouldn't be surprised if within the male community, I'm top 1% hairy. And this is pretty fucking hairy. When I'm on the beach, it's very rare for me to see someone hairier than I am. I am usually the hairiest guy on the beach. <laughs> but like I'm just I don't know I'm kind of over it like I saw a, a, a Twitter deep fried reddit post that was like why are older generations so comfortable being naked in the locker room and like literally every post that replied to it was exactly how I wanted to reply to it it was more like why is your ass so like shy about being naked in the locker room bro it's your at, you just reach a point where you're like, you just don't care anymore. Like, I, I, you go to the gym, you get sweaty, you're not going to fucking walk out of the gym with your sweat-soaked underpants and get like a fungal infection on your balls just because you're worried that some dude's going to be like, he's going to body shame you or something like that. You just got it. Nobody cares, man. I don't want to see old people's balls, bro. Okay, then fucking don't go to the YMCA, bitch. There are people too. You're going to be an old person with balls someday. Why are you looking? They're going to the gym. They're getting their exercise. They got to change too. Oh, the fucking dudes in the locker room aren't hot. You fucking asshole. What are you talking about? You think that gives you the moral high ground? It's weird, bro. Americans are so cooked, bro. We are... I, I'm lumping Canadians in there, too. We are cooked on nudity, bro. I am not cooked on nudity. I don't really... Like, in, in a position like a gym changing room or like a swimming pool changing room, my ass is going au naturel. That's like... That's the place that you do it. I'm not going to walk around, you know, with just my balls hanging out in public or something like that. But, like, if you're not getting naked at the change room, then what the fuck are you doing, man? I don't know how, like, like nudity is not always sexual. In fact, like, most of the time it's not sexual. Most of the time you're just taking a damn shower or something. <laughs> You're just washing your shit up. Seeing my dick and balls is a privilege those strangers haven't earned. Okay, so you're embarrassed and you're covering for it with like machismo or something. Because like nobody in the locker room cares. They're not looking. They're looking at their phone, bro. Just like everybody else. <laughs> what about you not pissing in urinals? That's more because, like, I'm worried about you guys being freaks. And then, like, I get validated in it all the time. Like, did you see the post of the Smash Bros guy at the urinal? 
And then the the picture was like always catch him when they least expect it or something like that. That's why you'll catch my ass going to the stall. <laughs> I'm not. You will not see a selfie of me given like the peace sign behind while I'm holding my cock out at the urinal. That's not going to happen. No one cares though. That one, I'd rather just wait for a stall, honestly. Plus I have a little bit of a shy bladder. The stall lets you like, you know, you're, you're just free flowing. As far as I'm concerned, again, like I'm not to belabor the point. But um, as far as I'm concerned, the whole bathroom should be stalls to begin with. But obviously that's a battle. I don't have the political capital to win that battle yet. Best we can do is a trough. <laughs> trough goes crazy. I mean, it's literally like the one of the worst ways to piss for sure. You love the trough? What do you love about the trough? Don't spin me a yarn about humanity. Oh, you really feel like you're part of... You're fucking getting in touch with your animal side when you go piss in a trough. What's next? We're going to have people uh, standing for the, the soap that is just shoved onto a metal rod. Yeah, melting the ice can be fun. Oh. <laughs> it's efficient, though. I literally don't care about the efficiency of a bathroom. I care about my own comfort. Just make them all stalls, or at least put up dividers between each of the urinals. You'll be uncomfortable in line. You don't know me. I love lining up. Plus, you could always just piss your pants if you don't like waiting. I don't get why places don't have dividers. It's literally because in North America, we're not allowed to have nice things. Do we really expect Rogers Arena to put up dividers? That would cost like $60 per urinal stall. They can't afford that. Beers are only $23 each here. Won't somebody think of the corporation? Oh. The thing that pisses me off is people are like, they'll be like anti-stall. They'll be like, why should we have stalls just for people who are pissing? Okay, well, why don't we fucking take the stalls away then? Why don't we take the walls away and have you shit in a trough next to one another? You fucking status quo Andy. No, no, no. It, oh, no, it just so happens the things as they are, as they are is perfect. If we made them better, it would actually be worse. And if we made them worse, that would be too much. It's actually just that the way that things have always been, like the exact system that I grew up with is as good as it could possibly be, you fucking unimaginative Andrew. No, no, no. It's okay to piss next to other people, but you don't shit next to other people. No, no, no. The, the fucking wall with a three-foot gap at the bottom and a six-foot gap at the ceiling is blocking the smells. Are you listening to yourself? I know why you don't like the stalls. Because based on the condition of the average man's bathroom, half you motherfuckers don't know how to flush. It's just too much work. Oh, some of us 
flushing is so hard. First, you have to like find what kind. Some you don't always find yourself in a place cognitively where you're able to easily identify where the flusher on the toilet is, and then you've got to like. <laughs> it is. It all comes back to DoorDash discourse. At the end of the day. Yeah, flushing's bad for the environment. The flush handle is dirty. It would be way better to just leave my shit in like an open bowl for the next person to have to fucking take an eyeful of when they come in. This straw man so flimsy is starting to crumble. Uh-oh, folks, it's getting kind of hazy. Is that why I'm getting so many plus twos? Yeah, I saw the post that said one in five Americans can't eat uh, leftovers. Apparently the microwave adds histamines into the food or something, but yet everybody's going crazy for endless appetizers at Applebee's. Doesn't make any sense. You ever have the automatic flusher flush while you're still doing your business? This is why we need our own Butlerian Jihad, to be honest. The technology at some point was good, and then it went too far. Nobody wants to touch the flusher because of the germs. Okay, so instead we have toilets that flush eight times while you're taking one piss. Like... Are we, we have to choose what we're going to be self-righteous about, bro. Are we going to be self-righteous about cleanliness or about environmentalism? <laughs> Make them all foot flushes? Now we're talking. People are too afraid of germs. I thought that too until I got like really sick. And now I'm real careful about that shit. But I still think the average person takes it too far. Or maybe not the average person, but the average insane person. I'll still eat the chicken sashimi. It doesn't, <laughs> as long as... I smell it first, but... Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. Do it. I'm a germaphobe, but at least I know I'm the crazy one. I think it's just like, I don't know, it's good to wash your hands, don't get me wrong. That bacteria, bacteria viruses, they're fucking like ruthless, man. They're everywhere. Not, I mean, this probably is going to bother you to hear, but you know, like, I'm not a germaphobe. My hands probably have like a trillion bacteria on them right now. You, a germaphobe, your hands probably have merely hundreds of billions. That's fucked up. There's no winning, man. Like, we're just borrowing the world from the bacteria. They're nice, though. Yeah, some of them. Most of my germs are cool. I kind of look at it though like I, I wish I had to give germs permission to like use my body though. Because there's like, like some germs I'm like yeah fucking dude break up those complex carbohydrates in my gut you know. And then like you get a little cut for yourself you get some sugar for yourself and then you release the rest into my body so I can use it. That's like a fucking sick setup. 
Whatever is making my farts smell so bad, though, you're getting an eviction notice, brother. I never asked for that. And they don't make, like, a targeted antibiotic for, like, foul-smelling flatulence. <laughs> like, <laughs> the only option is kill all bacteria in your gastrointestinal tract and then hope you don't get it again. That's hypothetically if I could actually get prescribed antibodies to begin with. Whee! Get the poop replacement therapy? They don't fucking just give it out though, bro. The only things that you can get without a prescription these days are the pills that'll kill you. If you need like real medicine, you've got to demonstrate need. Nurse here can confirm. <laughs> and Ozempic? I don't know. I haven't seen my doctor since Ozempic existed, I think. Wow. Yeah, we're getting used to this new DPI. It is, uh, it's a struggle right now, for sure. Just two exit? I don't want to get used to the 1600. I'm an 800 Andy. survive your personal butlerian jihad? Good question. Let me think about that. Toasters, no, no doubt. That's a great invention. Toasters aren't thinking machines. <laughs> I guess that's true. Hmm, let me think about that. I've never read Dune, by the way. So I might have a a sus understanding of the Butlerian Jihad. Until Denny Villeneuve gets around to making a prequel or something. Ooh. They killed all the toasters. Thou shalt not make a machine in the likeness of the human mind. I don't know. I, I mean, I, what would survive? My computer? GPS systems? I don't know. I mean, GPS systems, sure. They do a lot of good for society. But I've been living that non-GPS life. I know it drives my wife crazy, but I, I've been navigating Vancouver like a taxi driver for like three or four years now, and it feels fucking sick, bro. But then every once in a while, I'll have to go somewhere that's on like a street I've never heard of, and then I gotta use the GPS. But if I'm... Otherwise, if I know the location of something, I'm just... I'm, I'm going east, west, north, south, bro. I'm, I know the cross streets. It's so freeing. I know. And then people are like, what if it takes you like, you know, three minutes longer to get to your destination? That's life, brother. Doesn't bother me at all. Takes three minutes to set up the GPS. Yeah, sometimes. And then the motherfucking GPS doesn't know that there's like construction on our Butis Street, so my ass ends up getting stuck there for like 10 minutes. And I'm like, damn, dude, I could have just 
gone to like West 16th via like fucking give me a second here. <laughs> Probably via McDonald. <laughs> I don't know, who, who is this bit for? <laughs> well, I don't know. Like your fucking ass would probably turn left on Blenheim Street or something like that. But I trust the city planners. Okay, I until I get close to my destination, I take the major thoroughfares, bro, because they got ordinances so people are not parking on the street during peak hours they got more lanes they got you know better ways to control the flow of traffic so i'm not sending my ass down a side street and then all of a sudden oh there's cars parked on both sides of the street and bi-directional traffic you will catch my ass on one of the major arterials bro you'll catch me on oak you'll catch me on camby you'll catch me on fucking Granville, you'll catch me on Burrard. You'll catch me on one. We're going the other direction. You'll fucking catch me on West 16th. You'll catch me on West 41st or some shit like that. Okay, you won't catch me like, oh, you got to go to fucking take Central Street. You end up in some suburb you've never seen before. No shot, bro. It's not going to happen. West 41st is not Vancouver. Bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? That runs through Carysdale, bro. Where the fuck do you live? Like the North Van or something like that? West 41st is fucking Vancouver, bro. The hell are you talking about? I know you're one of those people who's never been like south of West 8th. Okay, come out of Mount Pleasant sometimes. The water's fine, okay? Listen, I know you're up in Brewery Creek. You got access to R&B, Brass Neck, Electric Unicorn, shit like that. You're going to Slim's Barbecue on Friday. Okay, congratulations. Come a little bit south sometime. There's a whole city down there. Come take a trip to the Richmond Costco, bro. Your soul will not find heaven. Talk to him, king. <laughs> I'd rather go to Burnaby than fucking go, bro. And take some fucking half-cooked route, too. Don't take Highway 1. Oh, Highway 1's so busy. Fucking find your ass taking, like, Broadway all the way to Burnaby or something like that. Nice way to turn a 31-minute drive into, like, a two-hour odyssey. Your ass, yeah, exactly. Your ass gonna take Kingsway all the way? Pull into Kingsway and Boundary, stop at Magic Stronghold, pick up a couple of packs of Modern Masters, ask for some directions. Fuck you, man. I'm out of the loop. Well, it's not really like a bit that's made for everybody. It's really just made for people in Vancouver. <laughs> Can you start talking about Kingston, Ontario streets now? There's only like five of them. You got your Gardeners Road, you got your Bath Road, you got your Princess, your Queen, and your Brock Street. I guess you got King Street East and Ontario Street, and then fucking what? Where do we go from there, Kingstonians? Taylor Kid Boulevard? <laughs> really? <laughs> Are we going? <laughs> Barrick Street? Oh, brother. Barrick Street. Work Sir John A. McDonald. Okay, West End Andy. You pick up something at uh, the Kingston Center for me. Albert and Alfred always confusing my ass. So true. Well, I'll tell you what. You just need to remember that uh, VIP Chinese. That's on Alfred. Yeah. Wee. Hold. 
day five of asking NL to play commander at the Commercial Drive Legion on Mondays. It's not going to happen, but I love that for you. If you were to catch me on commercial on Monday, I would definitely be playing at Grandview Lanes. But I'll just be honest with you, you're not going to catch me at commercial on a Monday. Or probably like, not very often. If I'm there, I'll be getting some good food. Hold. They really got you playing Commander at the Legion, huh? I love that, though, because that's like you're actually being part of the community. Like, you're, you're getting together with other like-minded individuals out there in East Van, and I'm sure there's some generational mixing as a result, right? You probably got fucking Korean War vets in there, and then you got, like, 19-year-old kids with, like, bespoke Commander decks. That's a cultural exchange, bro. That sounds sick. That's what, that's what society's all about. Motherfucker. <laughs> anyway. We used to do Friday Night Magic in the basement of our church. I know it smelled crazy down there. I kind of miss that smell though, man. I know it's like literally mold and mildew, but like, you walk into a place that smells like that, like, there's something homey about it. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you for the Vancouver talk. I'm going back to my lunch. Where are you going for lunch, motherfucker? Are you going to lunch, lady? You going to Sally Lemon? I think it's over for Sally Lemon, man. Now that they're... As soon as you get a location in the airport, I no longer take you seriously as a restaurant. You are now a business, which is fine if you want to be a business, but I don't want to eat at a business. I want to eat at a restaurant. The bagel place with the crazy owner? Well, here's the thing. The bagel place with the crazy owner? I'm pretty sure that that shit is like Yukon and 8th. So you got a, a w ways to go to get there from Commercial Drive. And we are not going to be door dashing a bagel, okay? That's how we got into this discourse to begin with. Go to Kokoro Tokyo Maze Soba at Station Square. I have been to Kokoro Tokyo Maze Soba. I liked it, but I do have to say, at the end of the day, if we're talking noodles, I'd rather just go to one of Vancouver's many vaunted uh, ramen places. The Maze Soba, I liked it. A little bit different for sure, but I may... Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm kind of a Dombo guy, man. I'm kind of a Dombo guy. Shea Piggy me. Now we're back to Kingston. I've been to Shea Piggy. I've been to Shea Piggy. I've been to the Toucan many a time. Shea Piggy pretty good. Go to Fresh Slice at Broadway City Hall Station. Um, the, if I'm at Broadway City Hall Station, let me think about that. I mean, you can, you can walk to the Wendy's. It's like two blocks down there. You might honestly, rather than go to that Fresh Slice, why don't you just walk two blocks down, go to the Whole Foods? For the same price as Fresh Slice, the Whole Foods pizza slices actually slap. I mean, the, the groceries are expensive, but the Whole Foods pizza is pretty good, man, by Vancouver standards. I think you're making bad pizza choices. There's also, like, a, there's an A&W on the corner there. You got lots of options. Royal Tavern's my favorite bar in Kingston. Now you are literally just on Google Maps. Or you are a member of the Hells Angels. In which case... Leave me alone. <laughs> Your quarrel's not with me, man. I'm not doing anything. Just... I don't even know any longshoremen, okay? I don't want any trouble. Oh, 
hear any good songs on the radio lately? Here's some Olivia Rodrigo now and then. <clears throat> vampire. You're, you're the occasional vampire. Here, a little uh, get him back. Any new tracks on the Peloton playlist? You know what? I always like to be. I, I like to keep you honest on that one. I like when you keep me honest on that one. <clears throat> I can't believe in 50 minutes we haven't even had one chance at the wheel yet. The most recent song added to the Peloton playlist is. Sorry, my phone's kind of old. I got to do a lot of scrolling. I don't even want to tell you. It's too Canadian pill. I'm on a Sloan kick. Most recent song added to the Peloton playlist, If It Feels Good, Do It by Sloan. A little embarrassed. I mean, it's not a transcendental song. Ooh. I added... Um, if it feels good, do it. Money City Maniacs, Losing California, and I already had, uh, of course, Underwhelmed on there, because it's probably like one of the top 10 Canadian songs of all time. Holy shit, another person who listens to Sloan. Bro, we're bringing Sloan back, man. We are, we are getting rid of the Arkells and we are bringing Sloan back. We didn't know how good we had it. Are they like Slint? Not at all. You got any Madonna on there? I have two Madonna songs on there. In one message, can you type the two Madonna songs that you think are on my Peloton playlist? I want to see who gets... I said two songs! I want you to get them both right, okay? I haven't seen it yet. I have, I've, I've seen them individually, but I haven't seen it yet. Vogue is not on the playlist, but Vogue should be on the playlist. Hey! Whoa, 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 Someone got it. Alphonse underscore M. You are correct. It is Ray of Light and Hung Up. Both great songs, also both incredible songs for uh, climbing. Perfect cadence, perfect energy for climbing. But Vogue should be on there as well. I'm a, I'm a big Vogue guy. How much sum 41? Zero, and uh, I think it's going to stay that way. But I, I'm realizing I have to be a little bit less um, picky about what I put on the playlist. Because when you're riding for like 90 minutes a day, you start chunking through those songs pretty quick. Like I, I've, I've listened to Mojo Pin and Grace by Jeff Buckley like eight times this week. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying we, I, I got to open the floodgates. Instead of just like the best two songs on every album, it's got to be, I got to open it to like the best five songs on every album. <laughs> hold, 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 hold. Why not just full albums? When I'm working out, I want, I want the hits. I don't want the filler tracks. I want like, if I'm going for 90 minutes, I want 23 singles. I don't want any interludes. I don't want any fucking skits. I want only the greatest hits. That's the time for greatest hits. How much Mika's on there? There's zero Mika. There's a little Annie, though. Tragically Hip. Two Tragically Hip songs on the playlist. Now, this is, this is a fun game while we make no progress at all. <laughs> Can you guess in one message the two Tragically Hip songs on the playlist? Woo! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I, actually, I was wrong. There are three Tragically Hip songs on the playlist. All right, this one's tougher. Not as many people familiar with the Tragically Hip. It is Grace 2, X Pimpy, 50 Mission Cap, and at the 100th Meridian. Hold, hold. No Bob Cajun. If I was riding outside, I could I could put some Bob Cajun out there. I like the way he says checkerboard floors. Okay, focus, focus, focus. That's not gonna do it. Is there any rap on the playlist? Brother. <laughs> Come on. Of course not. I love all music. There's only two genres I don't respect, country and rap music. Next question. Of course there's a rush on, or a rap on there. You think I don't respect uh, Camp Low, Black Nostalgic, and Cooley High by Camp Low? Kind of crazy you got camp low back there. Yeah. I also have some liquid swords on there. I mean, there's a lot of rap on there. Problem is, liquid swords sometimes, you know, title track comes on like 61 minutes into your ride and it starts with like an eight year old Japanese kid. <laughs> My father would come home, he would forget about the killings. The Shogun sent his team of ninja spies to attack our village. And I'm like, brother, call it's like 91 seconds of intro. Like, I gotta... <laughs> give, give me some Jizza insanity, bro. Okay, hang on. Go. Mr. President, I'm afraid Doom's becoming too powerful. It's a great genre of tweet. Absolutely. Whee! He would womanize, he would drink. Sometimes he would accuse chestnuts of being lazy. He would make outrageous claims like he invented the question mark. How long has NL been here? Four to five hours. Hey, NL, there's a Curtis Blow Peloton ride. Hey, Chatter, it's not nice to go out and tell lies. They would definitely never do a Curtis Blow Peloton ride. But if they did, it would probably be like... <laughs> I'm Curtis Blow, I got a Peloton ride. Listen to your instructor and take it in stride. We got bikes and pedals and handlebars. If they had an engine, it'd be a car, but it's not a car. It's a bike with an extra wheel, it'd be a trike. I'm Curtis Blow, and I'm here to say you should exercise most every day. You know, like, that's... They don't make real rap music anymore. It's all about the Hennessy and the hoes. Nobody's ever rapping about basketball being their favorite sport anymore and liking it when they dribble up and down the court. Or like making a song called The Breaks and then talking about all the different kinds of breaks you can have. Breaks on a glass, breaks on a car, breaks can make you a superstar. Breaks on a car, breaks on a bus. <laughs> oh man. You should try doing 10 silly jumps just for the fun of it. Okay, silly jump number one. Silly jump number two. 
<laughs> so silly. <laughs> oh, man. So we jump number three. Hey, chat, anyone who watched the NHL religiously this season, can you tell me how the fuck Sam Reinhardt and Zach Hyman are second and third in the NHL in goals? What the fuck happened, bro? When my parents were here yesterday, I was like, we need some background music. I put on the Panthers versus Flyers game. Sam Reinhardt scored a goal. They said it's his 48th fucking goal of the season. I said, 48 fucking goals? Isn't that like more goals than he's had in his 11-year career prior to this season? I'm so sick of the Panthers. They're so annoying. Cool jersey, though. Or cool logo, at least. That's why McDavid has like 100 assists. What do you think, guys? Quinn Hughes winning the Norris this year? Guy who watches an eighth of a period of every Canucks game and no other hockey teams? I'm thinking Quinn Hughes is probably going to win the Norris this year. He's probably first in the voting right now. I know. He's really good. He is really good. Demko for Vesna? No, nah, I don't think so. Unfortunately, I think Connor Hellebuck, he's got too much uh, marination right now. Plus, with Demko injured, it's going to be tough. Heart trophy? I think you got to give it to McKinnon. It's fucking crazy. Aren't they, they have 11 goals left in the season, and Nathan McKinnon just broke the record for like most points in a season in Colorado Avalanche history. No big deal. The team only had uh, Joe Sackick, Peter Forsberg, Milan Hayduk, Timu Solani, Paul Correa, fucking like the best players of my childhood. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Hold. Hold. Go back to Magic the Gathering. <laughs> no. How is Vancouver top of the league? It is crazy. Like, it doesn't feel right. All the other teams that are up there, you know, the Rangers, they're like a wagon. Canes, Bruins, Stars. I'm like, these are, these are amazing teams. I'm like, what the fuck are we doing up there, man? As someone who works at a card store, I love hearing the magic talk. Xeneron, did you... Well, I know you know this. Did you know that I know this? Jay came into your card store. Wolves at my door. He came into your card store to buy Lorcana. I was in his chat one day, and he was like, Hey, Ryan, I met like a community member of yours at the card store. And I was like, who was it? And he was like, I can't remember his username, but it like started with like X-E-N or something like that. And I was like, that's Xeneron, bro. He's VIP. That is not a typical chatter. That's a, a, a noted pillar of the community. Did he bow? <laughs> yeah, I sold him some shit. Okay, let's not go crazy. I think he was going to buy it anyway. I think he bought some shit from you. I don't know if you were involved. I'm not trying to insult like the role that you played in the transaction. I'm just not sure that I would call it a sales job. I think he probably walked in and said, hey, here's my receipt for this Lorcana stuff. Whee! I literally went into his chat and said, yo, I work at a store in Central Jersey and we have Lorcana. Okay, I apologize. I'm, I was not familiar with your game. Never mind. I didn't, that, is, that is sales. It's fucking funny, though, because Lorcana, if you don't know, is the Disney uh, trading card game. So, like, the cards will be like, Mickey Mouse, Sorcerer Mickey Mouse, Captain Hook. So I'm picturing, like, anytime an adult with a beard buys, like, $250 worth of product, I just think of, like, the 20 fucking 
10 year old kids who didn't get to buy a pack at the card store that weekend and like cried instead. <laughs> Sorry, we're all sort of out, sold out of Lorcana. It's been really popular. Maybe two days earlier, a dude with a fucking big bushy beard walking out with like 10 cases of the shit. Hung, 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 hung. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, kids. If you wanted some Lorcana, you should have gotten a tech job in 2006. At least the banter's good, right? <laughs> you really had to do it to me like that? Well, at least it's not Pokemon. Pokemon is like way worse, right? Because that shit is like... <laughs> well, I don't, I, it's kind of like Harry Potter, right? I'm not trying to make any enemies, but like... Pokemon was like my generation's childhood and then I kind of thought like we were paying it forward and we we're like it can be the next generation's childhood too but it turns out like no it's just gonna like be our adulthood fucking 500 dudes that look like me overrunning the Vincent Van Gogh museum gift shop because they're selling like limited edition Pikachu Vincent Van Gogh portraits and shit I mean, I, I can understand why millennials are catching some heat. There are a lot of us that I think basically said, like, no, 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 I'm not done with my childhood yet. We will be seeing Ghostbusters 203 opening weekend. I will be dressed as the original Ghostbusters. No one will be dressed as any of the Ghostbusters from Ghostbusters 3 to Ghostbusters 209. I want to be Venkman. No, you can't be Venkman. You got to be Dan Aykroyd. I'm going to be Venkman. I want to be Bill Murray. We already have four Bill Murrays. Somebody's got to be Dan Aykroyd, dude. I'm already Tracer. <laughs> Anna main. Anna main. Anna. Anna. Five fucking Anna mains. Oh, <laughs> Did, did you see, librarian, this one's for you. Did you see uh, Aiden Ross asking XQC if he believed in the Big Bang or Pangria? <laughs> and then they're talking about the creation of the Earth. And uh, oh, man, it's, it's such a good TikTok, man. It's so good. Oh. It got me so good. Woo! <laughs> I didn't get any momentum on that, man. You said I don't practice Pangria, I ain't got no crystal ball. And then immediately, like a fucking flashback the 311 tiny desk concert got stuck in my fucking head again you motherfucker have you ever made out in dark hallways just placed a kiss to made your grade huh i played a hit from your record collection it's your mix congratulations if i ever said i'm gonna down down you don't know how i ever feel down <laughs> I watched it, so it's so good. I like it. That's I begrudgingly like it, which is why I hate it. That's sublime, though. Yeah, but let's be honest. Like, kind of cut from the same cloth, right? Them doing it is kind of cringe in their 50s. What are you talking about? This shit's fucking... It owns that they're doing that shit in their 50s, bro. I love that they're still playing the hits from the 90s. What do you want them to do? Release like an acoustic album like Diana Krall or some shit? They're in it for the love of the game, man. Now, does the music kind of suck? Yeah, a lot of it. But at the same time, like, they, they're true believers. They're still rocking. Whether they're, they're my cup of tea or not. Hold, hold.
I am at exactly the same spot. <laughs> I have made no progress. But I'm, 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 I'm enjoying having the conversation, though. Three more silly jumps. Here you go. <laughs> Don't tell her. She's she closed the door. She's in my bathroom now. I saw a fucking big ass spider in there when I was taking a shower. It was big enough that like. I saw something move. I didn't have my glasses on, and I saw some, something move out of the corner of my eye. And then I, I was like, and I looked down on the ground, and I, my animal brain was like, that's a spider. And it was, it was a big spider. And then I put my glasses on, and I looked at it, and I was basically like, if you don't cause problems for me, then I'm not going to cause problems for you. If my wife sees the spider, she's going to be like, kill this motherfucker, and I'm going to do it. But... For now, I gave him a chance to, to live. Now let's see if he's gonna take it. <laughs> Why not send Ruka or Tomo? They're literally useless. Like they, they, they don't have the killer instinct anymore. They don't possess the faculties to, to kill a bug anymore. Did they ever? Yeah. I mean, back in the day, Ruka used to, used to hunt some flies and then eat them and throw up. He's a little older now, though. A little wiser, yeah. Not as limited as a Venusaur or a Blastoise. Some strong winds. Some strong winds today. Stay safe out there, everybody. Never cut it as a wise cat. Couldn't cut it as a Tomo stealing. So true. This is how you remind me of the f that I am a cat. <laughs> Silver side up ass. Big Bang Theory Pangria ass. We're free. <laughs> I, it's so easy to be a streamer, bro. You just steal from chat. It's not like you to say meow. <laughs> just waiting on a different kitty. This time I'm mistaken for thinking you were still a kitten. I've been meow. I've been. <laughs> To the bottom of every catnip. Yes, <laughs> Nickelback. Whoa! Oh, that was the closest one we've had so far. YouTube parody out in one week. Brother, don't even get me started. Like, sometimes, you know, my daughter wants to listen to, like, number block songs in the car. Number block songs are great. They teach her a little bit about the multiplication tables, right? Sometimes after that, Spotify Shuffle says, guess what, motherfucker? I'm playing some YouTube dreck, like, among us in real life. I've never smashed the mute button, like, faster in my entire existence.
saving her life. <laughs> Computer, play Deacon Blues, please. Stat. We need 100 cc's of the E Street Band immediately. What if there was a hospital where they only treated you by playing classic rock? That'd be a good SNL sketch, right? 58-year-old man in the hospital. What happened? Mm, he was exposed to some 100 gex at his daughter's birthday party. Get this man some Don't Stop Believing. Stat. This is not a drill, people. I need Hotel California and a pair of AirPods immediately. A man's life is at stake. Sir, we don't have any doses of Sweet Caroline left. Oh, God. What do we have? ACDC, please tell me it's Thunderstruck. All we have is whole lot of Rosie. It's gonna have to do. It's bad, so it would be good on SNL. Dang, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. <clears throat> NL knows 100 gex. Who, who do you think invented being cool, bro? Not you? Yeah, but it was someone fucking before me. So obviously it was someone... I'm just saying that people that are 17 are like, Oh, he's fucking heard of Japanese breakfast. Yeah, bitch. Of course I heard of Japanese breakfast. He watches Fantano? I don't. I just know good music when I hear it, bro. So I'm listening to Lover Boys working for the weekend ten times a day. We're Costco guys. Of course we listen to Olivia Tremor Control. <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, I have nothing against Anthony Fantano except for the fact that he makes videos on YouTube and I don't watch videos on YouTube. I watched the third period of the Vancouver Canucks game presented by Save On Foods. Save On Score and Win Challenge. If you use your More Rewards card at Save On Foods locations throughout British Columbia, you could win a prize. And if a Vancouver Canuck ever scores five goals, you could win up to $1 million. See terms and conditions at Save On Foods Score and More Win.com. So never? Yeah, it hasn't happened uh, at least in like 12 or 13 years. <laughs> Got to be the best ROI promotion in sports history, except for when Wingstop was going to give free wings whenever the Pistons won, but... Woo! Hold, hold. Fucked up that they won. Aren't they not even, like, the worst team in the NBA anymore? Like, they passed the Wizards or something, right? Or they're close? They did indeed. I mean, imagine tying the NBA record for like most consecutive losses in history and then being second last in the league. Like, that's fucking crazy. Nah, they're last again. They're one game back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chris Paul hits huge three to cut lead to 41. I know, I, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> 42, sorry, sorry. Celtics popping off now. I don't know anything about basketball, to be honest. Number one basketball highlight of the year. 
LeBron James flanked by two women, crossed legs, insane aura, read his lips, first thing he says, first off, happy International Women's Day, clip of the year, that's the, that's the number one basketball highlight I've seen this year. <laughs> Hold. Hold. I need to go back to the silly jumps, man. I've been here for, I've been here for 80 minutes. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh, man. NL in joke boat. NL hits killer joke to cut lead to 27,000. <laughs> I am ass at Jackbox lately, for sure. I've been losing wheel. I've been losing everything. I don't want to throw my friends under the bus and also chat. I'm just going to say, I don't think you guys know how to vote properly in Madverse City. Not all of my Madverse City raps are goaded, but some of the stuff that beats my Madverse City raps is like, it, it's, it's corn core, bro. It's corn core. They're too deep. Well, like, at least Chibli's always trying to do some stuff. He's always trying to, like, not rhyme or, like, insult you spiritually or something like that. I just hate when I lose to, like, Hey there, dude, I've had enough of your sass, so now I'm gonna beat your ass. My name's Apollo, and I'm here to say I be rap better than you every day. And then my shit is like, I take more risks than evil can evil. Sorry that my raps are too cerebral. Then I, I lose like 92 to 8, and I'm like, what the fuck? She trapped in my cadmium palace. Whoa! You ever thought about freestyling? Isn't freestyling like a lie? Like, isn't, isn't freestyling like... You pretend that it's coming off the top of your dome piece, but actually, like, you wrote it in your bedroom a week before and then just made it fit the beat. I'll tell you what's next, man. By the hour. You're like Rosie O'Donnell at a bisexual bridal shower. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> Maybe in the running for greatest YouTube video of all time. But then again, I'm like, is it even the best freestyle rap battle video of all time? Because you've also got Mike Glambin versus Raindrop. Nothing's better than Eli. He was spitting. I mean, you're looking like Rosie O'Donnell at a bisexual bridal shower is an insane bar. I don't really know what it means, but it's, it's like a fucking opal or something like that. Like every time I think about the lyric, I get something different from it. <laughs> Look at that dental man, dent on the grill. It's another. He's he was spitting, dude. It's crazy that he lost. Uh, not to spoil the video as well, but I mean, I think he he lost because he kind of like broke the rules. But he dropped some curse words. Yeah. <laughs> Judges were biased. I think you're right. Eli did good, but I'm going to have to give it to my man Envy because he did great. How much Envy pay you, man? Oh. What about Adolf Hitler versus Darth Vader? I don't... 
The best of my knowledge, I have never seen an epic rap battles of history video. I couldn't tell you. Is that where I should start? Is that the best one? Is that like their Illmatic? Who did Walter White rap against? Bill Gates versus Steve Jobs is goaded. <laughs> oh man, Rick Grimes but <laughs> Walter White versus Rick Grimes. Early 2010s YouTube is so fucking funny, man. Add that to the 2010 restaurants. Sriracha on every table, bacon salts, poster that says like keep calm and numb on, and then the TVs are all playing like epic meal time and epic rap battles of history. Seven feet tall hamburgers with runny eggs on them. No. <laughs> All the items are named pirates or ninja themed stuff. Oh man. Uh, that being said, you could get a bowl of pho for like six ninety nine back then. Let's try to live through it. And then I'd go out for pho and I'd be like, oh, I shouldn't eat out so much. It's so expensive. Total bill, two spring rolls, Diet Coke and pho, eight nineteen. <laughs> I was like, that oof, that, that shit hurts the, in the wallet. <laughs> we didn't know, man, we didn't know. Bon me for four bucks back in the day. I hear that. Bon me is still, it might be the only cheap food on the planet. If you go to like a special bon me place, it might be different. If you go to a Vietnamese restaurant that just happens to have bon me on the menu, I'm always like, why is this shit so cheap? I mean, they're not huge sandwiches, but still. How do you feel about pork floss? Probably my second favorite kind of floss. Dental is definitely number one. I guess pork would be number two. <laughs> no, but probably number three because there's the dance. You're right, I forgot about the dance. What about candy floss? Oh yeah, okay, hang on. Number four maybe? I don't really like it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Did you practice off stream? <laughs> Shut the... Oh, it's really funny. The bar is fucking full. Word to your mother. What are you, you, you instigator? No, he doesn't say word to your mother. What does he say? Listen to your mother. Something like that. Go call your mother. Obey your mother. That's it. Obey your mother. Say the rest of it. You know why I can't. Those people are from Boston. I can't repeat those words. They shouldn't be saying them in the first place. But like, I guess like they're from Boston. Like, Hi, Tomo. I had no confidence. I had no confidence. <laughs> would be kind of sick to have a Bene Gesserit voice in real life. It would make parenting like so easy. I mean, she'd be eating vegetables like crazy, bro. That's child abuse. <laughs> R slash raised by Bene Gesserit. Anybody 
anybody else's parents use the voice to make them clean their room? I'm 17 years old and my mom just used the voice on me. Kind of unsure how to feel right now. <laughs> Update. <laughs> so true. Update. So I'm the Kwisatz Haderach. At first, I thought I was Moadib. I thought I was Lizan Al Gaib. I thought I was the voice from the Outer Rim. But it turns out, yeah, I'm the Kwisatz Haderach. So fucked up. Just found out my real grandfather was. We're not going to get into it, okay? Am I the asshole? We told our son that he was an accident, but actually he's the byproduct of 100,000 generations of selective breeding. Whee! Everybody sucks here. <laughs> Actually, Jessica kind of fucked it up by having a son. Bro, can you blame her? She was fucking in love with Oscar Isaac, bro. I don't know what's going on with the Dune rules of conception, but apparently if you're just fucking, you have like a daughter. And if you're fucking in love, you have like a son. It should be like a rude awakening on the day of birth, I guess, if you thought that you were in a stable relationship. <laughs> <clears throat> Chat, let it be known he's made zero progress in the last 90 minutes. We have made progress. We've gotten better. That's progress. Hold. 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 <laughs> Okay, what do you think? Would you drink the water of life? No. She said no. She's not cut out to be the Reverend Mother. That's based, honestly. I wouldn't drink it either because I think it, it has a history of killing every man who ever consumes it. Right, right. That's true. But you think it's possible that in the third movie they're going to be like, that shit was just blue Kool-Aid? Yeah, but we, we don't maintain chain of custody on the vial of blueness. They might have swapped that with Powerade at some point. On the Coke Zero, I understand. <laughs> Drink it with a life straw. Me when they want me to become the reverend mother and drink the water of life. Um, dub double it and give it to the next girl. Okay, hold. <clears throat> I reject the premise. <laughs> Oh, man. Woo! You really gonna summarize the whole movie just through bits? Yeah, maybe. Bring back, like, 2019 Twitter. Dune 2, out of context, like, four screenshots. Arthur Fonzarelli uh, jumping over a shark on two jet skis. Can you do Obama if he was Paul Atreides? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. You're, you got the wrong guy, man. You got the wrong guy. Also, like, here's how cooked Twitter is. I, honest, I'm sex positive, okay? But, like, 
Twitter is is too cooked. Like you'll see like a tweet about Dune, and then you click on it to read what people are saying about Dune, and there's like a hundred OnlyFans bots typing shit that like I don't want to see. They're like I touched myself in the theater. You got a mental illness, lady. I don't give a shit. You shouldn't be fucking. I don't even know what you call it. You shouldn't be polishing the gems in the middle of the movie. There's other people around you. It's actually a cry for help. I want to see, like, 13-year-old kids being like, I thought Paul Atreides was a good guy, but, like, how do I reconcile this with his actions closer to the end of the movie? Instead, it's fucking all robots that are like I jerked off in the movie theater and I'm like this fucking gross you should take that to the grave with you oh. that's why I use control panel for Twitter and remove all blue check replies honestly no nothing of value is lost for sure I know there's probably some people here that are like I have Twitter blue and I'm like you just got to look at the kind of company you associate with, is all I'm going to say, okay? You might be cool. You're watching me, so I'm predisposed to think that you're cool. But, like, I don't want to associate with the my, my own identity with the kinds of people that I see posted on Twitter blue. It's all thread boys and fucking porn bots, man. Hey, all right, Mocha. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Gom Jabbar in bio. So true. <laughs> Pussy in bio. Um, try hand in box, lady. That's right. We're, we're administering the Gom Jabbar test to determine your impulse control. Ooh, it turns out you're not the Kwisatz Haderach. Mmm, sorry, sorry. You could be like the Kwisatz Haderach's like great uncle or something like that. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe like, I don't know, your fucking sister's grandkid might be the Kwisatz Haderach or something like that, but your ass, mmm, I don't think so. Librarian, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you, thank you. You want spice? We don't have any fucking spice. Woo! <laughs> We're only fans. Of course our pussy's in the bio. That's a good joke. You shouldn't be giving that away for free. <clears throat> You're just like me after I saw Dune? The shoe is inspiring, man. It really like made me want to learn how to read so I could get some more context. But then I was like, I don't know, I could probably knock out the Dune audiobook in like three weeks of Peloton rides. I don't mean to pit two bad bitches against each other, but like Star Wars is fucked, man. If you asked me how I felt about Star Wars before watching Dune and Dune Part 2, I would have been like, eh, it's got some good stuff, it's got some bad stuff. After I watched Dune Part 2, I was like, what the fuck are we doing? Err, I don't like you. I don't like you either. Like, what are we, for fucking 40 years we were doing that shit? We were put, putting up a tent and... Waiting outside for a weekend so we could be the first people in the movie theater to see that shit? What were we doing, bro? What a, what a fucking grab, dude. And those were the good ones. <laughs> I lost confidence. Try again. Oh, we were actually a little too much lateral movement. That's good. That's good. Yeah. 
Next time. Next time. <laughs> the funniest part is thinking there was a chance. Oh, man. Yeah, Star Wars needs to go fucking weirder, dude. I mean, there's many things that Dune has over Star Wars. It being written for grown-ups, I guess, is like a good start. Don't you realize? I was thinking about it. How crazy is it that the biggest movie of the year so far is that fucking crazy? Like, I don't want to spoil things about Dune if you haven't seen it. But it's like, you wouldn't predict that it would be like that and fucking Transformers 8 going toe-to-toe -to -toe for like biggest movie of the year. Some of this shit, you're like, it, and yeah, like the, one of the characters is a fucking fetus, bro, that you see. You would be like, no, nah, no shot. How much did this movie make at the box office? Maybe like $90 million. Shit's made like $600 million. Half of that is from the one dude who's seen it like 78 times in IMAX, but still. Did you get the popcorn bucket? They didn't have the special popcorn bucket at my theater. Um, I didn't want that popcorn bucket either. It seemed like it would... I, I get the joke, obviously. But it... Uh, it looks like it would... After, as you were trying to pull the popcorn out, it seems like it would pull the popcorn back in. And I don't want that. I want the popcorn out of the bucket. That's what you want? No, it's not. I want more popcorn. I don't want to have to fight the bucket for the popcorn. Twenty minutes left, motherfucker. <laughs> did you get fresh popcorn? I did. I, I'm happy to report I did get fresh popcorn. I got something to say, though. They shouldn't charge extra for butter. If you want me to buy more popcorn, you should give me the best version of the popcorn for what it costs. Instead of relying on... They're like, oh, it's really better with the popcorn? Well, it sounds like if you want to be a popcorn merchant, then you should fucking include that shit gratty, as far as I'm concerned. They charge for that in Canada? It's like two bucks! So I opted out. Canada's cooked. Wait until you find out that we don't get the tortilla chips and salsa free at the Mexican restaurant. How dare they? Well, okay, there's some places you do. There's, if you go to Lone Star Texas Grill in Kingston, Ontario, you will get tortilla chips and salsa. But at like many Mexican restaurants in Canada, I mean, you're paying eight bucks for, for chips and salsa. But then they like make up for it or try to make up for it by giving you like one salsa and then like two other salsas that you don't fucking want. They always has to come with a fucking rubric when the tortilla chips and salsa come out. So this one's like a normal salsa and this one's like a habanero mango smoked cotilla Oaxaca cheese salsa. And this one is kind of like some ketchup that we left out overnight. Okay, enjoy. This one's a tomatillo salsa verde as filtered through like a, a salsa roja. And then one of them is just like mayonnaise and chili powder. Wow, that was a great one. Oh, he touched it too. <laughs> He's beginning to believe, just in time. Oh, he grabbed it too. I bet it moved. <laughs> I saw that TikTok. I saw that TikTok. 
close. Can you do the fade Rautha voice? I don't think so, no. Don't believe so. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> How come they're all bald like you on that planet? I don't know. Fucking... Twas the style at the time. Hold. Have you ever gotten past this part? It depends what you mean by past and this. That is a great bit. Tom Hanks in Elvis, but instead he's talking about Fade Rautha. So what's the big deal? We already got a Bene Gesserit, Kwisatz, Haderach candidate. He's white. He's what? Said the, the montage of... The, him coming in in the Colosseum, that would be... <laughs> but Timothy Chalamet is also white. In fact, in the movie, he eats a meal and they ask him if it's too spicy for him. And then Zendaya has to go, like, leave him alone. Yeah, I think Paul Atreides is the kind of guy that would like go into a Fremen restaurant and be like, yeah, I'll take this dish hot. And I'm not talking like Caladan hot. I'm talking about like Arrakis hot. Like if I were a Fremen and I ordered it hot, make it as hot as you would that. As if I were not an Atreides. Yeah, I think he would definitely do that. 100%. White boy orders in perfect Fremen. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. Is it true that in Dune, the book, when he, when he chooses his Fremen name... In his head, he's like, I've had dreams of me killing 61 billion people via the name Muad'Dib. So all I have to do is avoid calling myself Muad'Dib. And then Stilgar is like, so what do you want your name to be? And he's like, so what's the name of that little mouse in the desert? And then Stilgar goes, oh, Muad'Dib? That's 100% true. I got to read these books, bro. <laughs> he could have just been like, oh, I'm just kidding, not that. You don't understand, bro. You don't know shit about the golden path. I'm just joking. Me neither. Hold, hold. Everyone should read the first book. Yeah, but it, the first book is like 900 pages, right? And then the second one is like 38 pages. First one's about 600. Well, it's not that crazy. No, Messiah is very long too. Oh, so Children of Dune is the one that's like 250 pages or something. Yeah, can't they just explain it to me in a 30-second TikTok? <laughs> I want to see those two guys on the Comic Book Explained podcast explain it. So you're saying that Paul Atreides has Bene Gesserit training. That's right. 
because Lady Jessica originally thought that she was going to have a daughter to fulfill the prophecy. So she already had some knowledge of how to raise Paul in Bene Gesserit traditions. Wait, is that how he was able to transmute the water of life? Exactly. When Bene Gesserits ascend to royal martyr motherhood, they gain a new ability to alter the complexity of a molecule. Okay, hang on. Hold. Oh, he fucking grabbed that shit, too. Yeah, I would say Jessica took a shit in the mother toilet, for sure. There's just no way he ever beats this game. It's happening right now. <laughs> it's happening right now, bro. <sighs> Thoughts on Baron Harkin and flying? Um, they want to tell you a husky lad can't levitate. Always trying to keep a bald dude down. Hold. Baron Harkonnen would kill in this game. <laughs> Imagine modding Baron Harkonnen into the game and then just uploading a speedrun where you just float to the top. Wearing a fucking quadruple XL Moo Moo. Hey chat, what should I do at the gym today? Um, pelvic thrusts in the squat rack. Irritate the power lifters. Filming yourself the whole time. Run backwards on the treadmill. You should do the thing where you like, you get, you put your feet on the bench and hook them so that you're like in a permanent sit up and then you bench press while you're doing the sit up. You should do that move. Huge. Hollow hold bench press. It combines the best aspects of, uh, Weightlifting, hypertrophy, with the best aspects of yoga, spinal injury. You ever thought about doing a tenant themed Peloton ride where you pedal backwards for the first half? Oh man, that's a great idea. There is a member of the of the Peloton community. Doaku, are you here? Every once in a while they'll pop into the Peloton Discord and be like, I set a new PB today. It was like 140 watt average pedaling backwards. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm, this is like a new world, and I'm not even going to try to touch that one.
hand pedaling when. Listen, I'm just gonna say something and if it offends you, then so be it. Every time I see someone on a recumbent bicycle outside, I know they're a little freak. I'm sorry. I know they're out here with the fucking GoPro on their head, causing problems, getting into arguments with pedestrians and other cyclists and drivers all the time. I'm not saying you don't see cyclists on upright bicycles that are, you know, causing problems, but when I see someone on a recumbent bicycle, I'm like, this person's taking pleasure in causing problems. Maybe you're different. Maybe you have a, a back injury that means you have to use a recumbent bicycle. Hey, Tomo. Too much yoga? Exactly. <laughs> What's a recumbent bike? Yeah. It's the one where like you, you're sitting down and your legs go out in front of you instead of underneath you. So like instead of being like five feet off the ground, you're like one foot off the ground. Which is like the other reason that I don't think I would ever do it because I think like, I'm not naive. If I'm cycling and I get hit by a car, I'm probably gonna get fucked up pretty bad. But if you're on a recumbent bike and you get hit by a car, like, they might not even know that they hit you, right? You're going under the fucking chassis. Unless you could, you could do, like, a six slide. <laughs> That's what the flag is for. They do always have a flag. There's no doubt about that. Hey, Tomo. I'm not really knocking the recumbent bikes. But I, like, it's, maybe it's not fair, but I really do, when I, when I see a recumbent cyclist outside, I do go, oh, here we go. So I guess I am knocking them completely, actually. Hold. 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 In the gym? In the gym, whatever, man. If you, if you choose the recumbent over the stand-up in the gym, maybe it's just better for your back. I'm talking about out in the, the real world. I lost confidence. I lost confidence. Hold. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Basically just fell. At least we saw a wheel though. <clears throat> you need to use the Fremen grip. Okay, I'm going Shy Halud mode. Call me Chani. Call me fucking Stilgar. I'm running out of names, bro. We see wheel once more. Duncan Idaho. Excuse me, Duncan Idaho is not a, a Fremen. <laughs> He's a member of the, the courtiers and the coterie of House Atreides. What's Chani's friend's name? Oh, you mean the hater? Please stop with the Dune references. You should go see it. It's 
a good movie. Has anyone asked how many bathroom breaks you took during Dune 2? Okay, listen, I only took one bathroom break in Dune 2. I definitely could have taken two, because I did go to the bathroom after the movie was over. But the shit was three hours long, plus there were 15 trailers before it. Like, and I drank like a liter of uh, fucking Diet Coke within like 20 minutes of the start of the movie. But I, here's my thing about pissing with movies, or in movies. If you have to go piss during the movie, you should literally just go. You don't need Piss Me Not or whatever the app is. No movie has ever been as good as not having to hold your piss for 90 increasingly alarming minutes. You also, like, if you've ever seen a movie before, you fucking know... Like, I'm not saying that action always trumps dialogue. It depends on the movie you're in. But if you just watched a fucking ornithopter get shot out of the air by, like, a plasma rocket launcher, and then you see, you know, Paul Atreides drinking a, a cup of spit in the desert, you're like, this is my moment. It's time for me to go piss. I'm going to miss some overarching themes or something like that, but it's, it's worth it to get the piss out. Just piss before the movie? People are getting way too fucking familiar, bro. I piss when my body tells me to go piss. I'm not gonna be, oh, I pissed before the movie. Even though I got a tingle in my bladder, I'm like not gonna go pee now where the piss wins. I'm just gonna go piss, bro. I'm drinking liquid, I'm gonna piss, exactly. Don't drink the liquid? How about you mind your fucking business, bro? I definitely, I will say though, the reason I didn't take a second bathroom break was because I really, there was like a 40 year old dude who was the only guy I had to get by in order to get to the bathroom. Uh, and like, I went by him once and I was like, that's fine. That's socially acceptable. But, like, me asking him to tuck his legs in two times over the course of one movie, I was just like, I'm not going to do it to that guy. He didn't do anything to deserve that. But I, I was also like, holy fuck, brother, you don't have to take a piss? Like, who are you trying to impress? You're 40 years old. Go take a piss, and then I'll wait, like, a minute so it's not like I'm following you to the bathroom, and then I'll go to the bathroom before you come back. But this dude, he was a serious fucking watcher. He probably had a diaper in or something, man. Yes. Hold. But I'm not going to be shamed for going piss during the movie. If I got to... I, I probably piss once during every movie at the movie theater. There's definitely been movies I pissed twice in. That's cooked. It's... I mean, I have to piss. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> If anything, <laughs> if anything, I'm mad at my body when I have to go piss twice in a movie, though. So I am like, damn, bitch, you couldn't have just gotten all out the first time? Like, that first piss was like a 35 second long piss. It was not like, oh, I have to go a little bit, like, let's be proactive. I was like, I've got to go piss. So I took like a 1.5x piss. And then 45 minutes later, my bladder was like, I got some more. And I was like, what's wrong with you? Why didn't you just get, why, knock that shit out the first time, bro? Yeah. I actually think like, Dune is probably a really easy movie not to go piss during because there's like no water in the whole movie. I bet that like the average person probably takes 1.2 pisses during Dune part two. The average person probably takes like 2.1 pisses during Avatar. It's just, it's psychological. 
If you're if you're going to see the remastered version of the Abyss in theaters, bring a diaper or get ready to read some plot fill-ins on Wikipedia after you get out of the theater, okay? I had to piss fast to get back for Dune 2. I just took a normal piss. I even washed my hands. 20 seconds, soap and water. Because as Kate will tell you, like I said, that we went to a 19 plus theater. The trade-off for not having any like kids or teenagers disrupting things was that every three seconds, a middle-aged man cleared his throat. And I'm like, my ass is not getting sick again. One more, I got one more in me. I got one more in me. Were you masked up? Yep. I just cut a little hole in it so I could fit a couple of popcorn kernels. Try one more try. Kate, what are you playing today? You have the floor. Persona 3 Reloaded. Great soundtrack. You guys excited for Happy Gilmore too? No? Okay. All right, just checking. And Kate, how was that parking spot outside of the movie theater? Oh, baby. I don't even want to tell you. Fifth Avenue Cinemas on the corner of Burrard and Fifth Avenue. Spot right out in front. At first, I thought the spot wasn't that great because, like, the doors that it was in front of, we couldn't go in through them. But that's because when we exited, we were right fucking there. Literally opened the door to the movie theater. Our car was right there like it was valet parked. It's a star-studded event when I valet park. Open up my mouth in sunlight, illuminate the dark. You know what I'm saying? It was a goaded spot. Is that a Joe Cole bar? I believe it's Paul Wall. <laughs> oh. Huge. One more time, one more time. Best song on that album. I, I do have to say, I think I'm, maybe it's old hat at this point. I gotta go We Major. Gone is really good, Celebration's really good. I mean, there's a lot of classic tracks on it. I think at the end of the day, I gotta go We Major. Hold, hold. <laughs> John Bryan did some cooking. Bro did late registration production and the uh, I Heart Huckabees and Eternal Sunshine soundtracks all in like a two year window. What the fuck was John Bryan cooking, man? Not to mention his solo album, which has a couple of slappers on it. It is so funny to imagine 
John Bryan going from doing the score for Eternal Sunshine, though, to like being in the lab with Kanye West and Nas <laughs> on Wii Major and like sitting in the booth, like feeling better than we've ever felt before today. And he, better late than never, it's orientation. Like he, he made an Of Montreal remix, too. This guy, he was doing some serious work. John Bryan is on the keys right now. It's not that crazy if you've ever written music. All right, well, fuck me, I guess. It's it's kind of funny for me to imagine John Bryan with his fucking... <laughs> his Rivers Cuomo haircut in the lab with 2004 Kanye West. That's kind of funny. That, that juxtaposition is funny to me. What were you doing that year? I guess I was going to the 11th grade and then I was listening to late registration a lot on summer vacation while I played Halo 2 multiplayer. I was shitting in diapers. <laughs> that's sick. That's, that's kind of sick. I love that for you. You were only in the 11th grade? In 2005? Two, 2000, 2004, 04, 05 season, that was my 11th grade season. NHL lockout, got my driver's license, late registration came out. Desperate Housewives was the biggest show on TV. I was telling people to watch Arrested Development. They were telling me, we can't. It's on the same night as the fucking OC. I was like, you're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. Please, please watch it. They're going to cancel it. Prince William, hottest guy in the world. So true. The world was dominated by Paris Hilton, Nicole Richie, Prince William, and Lindsay Lohan. It was a bright spot for the culture, for sure. <laughs> okay, last jump. That's fine. That's fine. We go again. Slash marker. Difficult game. All right, you ready, Kate? You ever see that picture of Paris Hilton kissing the lady's belly because she thinks she's pregnant, but actually she's just a little chubby? It's from that era. That's got to be like from 2006 or something. <laughs> You can't upload this one to YouTube, nothing happens. Something happened, man, we had fun. We had a fun time, that's what happened. That's life sometimes, man. 9 a.m., leave your house. 5 p.m., come back, eat dinner, sleep for eight hours, wake up in the morning, guess where you're at, motherfucker? Same place you were yesterday. That's life. I did nothing at work. It's Monday. You don't have to work on Monday. You don't have to work on Friday, okay? And then Thursday is almost Friday. So at lunch, you can start to fuck off a little bit. Maybe even go to happy hour. But Tuesday, Wednesday, and the first half of Thursday, you got to go nuts to the fucking grindstone, okay? Good ethics. <laughs> but this week, this week is fucked, right? Because it's Easter. So as far as I'm concerned, like you don't have to work Monday because it's Monday. And then Friday is a holiday. So fucking Thursday is Friday, so you don't have to work Thursday, which means half of Wednesday is cooked. Are you really going to do a one and a half day work week? I just, you might as well just fucking fuck around the whole time. But the trade-off is that you have to work on Monday. Because you haven't worked in so long that on Monday you got to come back, you got to go nuts to the grindstone. The thing is, because you work that Monday, by the time you get to Wednesday, you're going to be feeling like you normally do halfway through Thursday, and that's where you can fuck off a little bit until the weekend, and then you reset it that weekend.
Nah, dude, that's Easter Monday. I thought Easter Monday was fake. I thought I made that up and everyone yelled at me. Nope. <laughs> it's on Google Calendar? Well, it must be true then. Isn't Google Calendar the same company that said there's no countries in Africa that start with K? But there's one that's close. It's Kenya. Okay, I'm going to send you over to my wife's stream. Enjoy yourself. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a good time. See you then. See you.